Cool. Yeah, recording. Nice. Um, so yeah, it will just be us three to start with. Mm -hmm. um, so, do you want to control? Um, Derek and Blair, which I would always sort of advise against, but not, I wouldn't usually offer. But it is quite, it is quite a big encounter. Um, or would you like to just each have two lives? Oh, that is an interesting question. Yeah, let's think about this because obviously. But you'll still have trolls, Bane, obviously. With two lives, um, we don't get two turns a go. Uh, would you, um, would you let me, that? yeah, they, let, let, oh my god, no, hang on, if, if one of the choices is just getting double turns, yeah. even that, you know, you, you know what, actually, I'm just going to say straight up, being, I think the best option here by far is just being able to control the other guy's characters. And then obviously right. it comes with this riskiness of like accidentally killing one of them, like which is a bit of a bit sus. But I think the most powerful option would be to do that. I'd agree because Rob's pretty dope. So I, well, I, if I'm honest, I haven't, I don't really know what Simon does outside of like crowd control and sort of buffing. But I guess that's what Simon he does. Simon has decent battlefield control stuff that he plays really poorly. Okay. And uh, I'm happy for that to be on recording, Simon. <laughs> stop fucking stop doing things to your allies in combat come on it wasn't too long ago that you fucking got me caught up in some shit and make me fucking freeze or something love it but yeah anyway I think just having two more PCs here is just like just so much better it's so much more of a well to draw from like you know because even if we took like okay we'll, we'll just like, have double turns like we're just gonna run out of our of our shit to spaff, you know? Alright, um, got... Go Can you all see Derek? Yes. In your journal? Can you uh, see his character sheet? Yes, I can, yeah. Can you, anyone, can someone try clicking on a skill or ability for me? Uh, sure, give me a second. Let me just pop it out. Uh, no, I, I can't. That I can only see blown up. Just... I can only see bio and info. I can't go on his character sheet. Oh, yeah, okay. I can't. Same. Uh, all right. So I'm going to have to actually give you guys control. Obviously, please don't actually edit it. Um, oh, okay. yeah. I, no. will, I will also make a ruling of no consumables apart from health potions unless we all discuss it and it is the correct play. So don't, I don't just want to start using up people's stuff without them being here. I, I think I think we, we can be sensible with it, Dave. You know, we're yeah, not going to fuck around. Yeah, like, yeah. Okay, and I will. I will be. I'll. Tr I'll try and be as fair as I can to uh, those people who are not here. Uh, and also, as well, I've already preset everything, so this should be. Um, should be pretty interesting. Forgive us. All right. we'll probably have to read up on what they do. I'm a little bit confused about exactly what it is that Simon does, like in terms of like his spells and stuff. Like in in terms of like Galir, it's pretty. I feel like I would feel a lot more comfortable. I feel like we'd have to have a bit of a longer look at like Simon's stuff. Like what Derek can do is a bit oddball, whereas like Galir is just like spirit shroud, spirit sword, fucking cast seal spells. You know. I mean, look, at the very worst, Simon's action or Derek's action will be to assist one of you guys or give you advantage if you hit the same thing to just yeah. like, assist to distract it. That's his action. And then bonus action, he's going to give someone a bardic inspiration. Yeah, and he's got just like generically good stuff like hypnotic pattern and that, right? Yeah, hypnotic pattern's probably going to be hypnotic pattern and, and silvery barbs. Or bards, as he's misspelled it, it uh, are probably going to be good here because a whole person you're fighting plants. Mm. 
Uh, I'm, I don't know what they're technically classed as. Yeah, a large plant. Yeah, not a humanoid. Dude, spiritual weapon is fucking dope. What the fuck? Yeah, dude, spiritual weapon is. I I hate I hate. I feel like this is the second comment I've made on uh like combat effectiveness of our party, but that spirit sword needs to, like needs to be out like all the time when we're fighting. I feel like that's such a dope spell. Doesn't it, isn't it like you you control it and it doesn't even fucking take up an action and stuff. Like it's, it's a bonus. It's a bonus action, but the best part that's it. Yeah, is not concentration. Yeah. Yes, that's it. It's not even a concentration spell. That is the thing that is sick like, about it. You can still get whammed and you'll still be like, that's still there. Yeah. And, you know, be casting up, be casting another concentration spell. Living the dream. All right. Um, we have already rolled for initiative. I didn't even... Um, I can't see yeah. anyone's initiative apart from Charles Dane. Yeah, you know how can I? No, how can I see Charles no. Dane? Uh, well, we can re-roll him if you want. I mean, if you can see him, you can just guide us yeah, through. Yeah, so it's, it's going it's to go... I hate that uh, you guys can't see the whole turn order. Uh, it, so it's going to go Charles Bane... Charles Bane, Monsters, Derek, Tekla, Skalir. Oh, Orman, you don't have a... Oh, yeah, because you went here last day. Uh, roll your initiative, please. Should we just re-roll for all of them? Because I'm not going to I'm not going to just remember that turn order. Sure. Yeah, but I've, I've got it. Wow. Okay, you've got it. Okay. That's, that's a bad roll. It's not great. It's not that's not great. Um... I will allow you each um, two inspirations. Oh, thanks, man. <laughs> two inspirations. But I'm worried that you might die. Really know how to G up the party, Pete. <laughs> no, I'm excited. I'm, I'm excited. Fucking, we might die, eh? Oh, we, might, you got we might die, eh? Oh, no. Oh. I, I, I put oh, together no. what I thought was a real fun combat encounter. I made a special table and everything. Mm -hmm. right. I the party didn't show up. Rude, really, yeah. yeah. Fucking flakers. Right. Uh, Charles Ben's asking what one you want to hit first. The green one or the blue one? Green is mean. Yeah, All fuck right. it. Alright, green it is. It's gonna uh, use a hunter's mark. And he's gonna fire off two, two longbow attacks. Uh, that's two hits. Yeah, buddy. First one. Or 12 plus 2, so 14. And then the second one. Five numbers. Oh, okay. Another 12. That's a d6. And he gets a d8. What's that? 24, 30, 32 in total. Not great, but hey, look, every little helps. I mean, that sounded pretty good to me. Not great for Charles Bane. Fair enough. All right, as the foul smelling plants shamble towards you. All right, um. Everyone's going to take a tentacle attack. Uh, Orman. <clears throat> no. This is going to really suck for me. Do you know? Do you know? So. Yeah. So right, you'll see. You'll see if these monsters. Uh, twelve. Does a twelve hit? Twelve does not hit. 
Derek's character sheet under, oh no, 13 probably doesn't hit, right? No, it doesn't. Um, his fiance, oh, she's getting whammed. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so. Two D six plus two bludgeoning. That's not so bad, is it? Eight. Only eight. Only eight. And then a DC constitution saving throw. She's fine. There's nothing to worry about. Just eight. Just eight. Okay. Uh, the other green one on Charles Bane. It is. He doesn't want it. He doesn't want it. Teclas. Uh, twenty-one. Well, yes, yeah, so I haven't got my uh my shit rolling, so uh, that does indeed hit. Ooh, that is a ten. Uh, and also a Constitution saving throw, please. Right, roll. Oh no. That is rut row, guys. That is very much rut row. Oh, come on, I believe. I mean, it could be worse. Well, we're going to we're going to inspiration that. I was going to say we have two, may as well. Mhm. Mm oh, good. Oh, nice. <laughs> Do you double down and just inspiration it off again? Just to like... Because there's three of us, Charles Bain really thinks you should. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm going to do it. Because I haven't got any of my things up yet, so I really... Oh, For fuck's sake. <laughs> Have one of mine as well, fuck it. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Triple up. Okay. Only if, you, one. if you're sure. Um, yeah, do it. Alright. You have plus there three. we go. Yes. Fucking finally. Just, so the nerds in the chat watching on YouTube don't say I'm cheating. Patrick, I presume you're going to take the 19 there. You do get to choose yes. what role you want. Yeah. I, will cool. take, I will take the 19, yes. You succeed. And the final tentacle attack on Galir is a 17, which I believe just misses. I think it's 18 for Galir. Yeah, it is 18. Yeah, 18 AC. All right, sweet. You have survived your first round of tentacle attacks as it falls to Derek. You seem to know what Derek wants to be doing, Paddy. Do you want to? Do you want to take this? Uh, I have a rough idea. I feel like if if uh, Derek was here, he'd want to try and get out of melee combat with these guys. I think that would actually be the first and foremost thing that he'd be interested in before like casting spells and stuff. He would not want to be stuck in melee combat right now. Sure. So I feel like maybe if he like just took the disengage action and moved off to the right or something, just sort of like came over here. Oh, making the circle. Well are we are we engaged in combat with them? I guess we are. Uh yes, they have a reach of ten foot. Damn. Yes. So if he can disengage and move off to the side, I feel like that is a hundred percent what Derek would do. Rather than just like sort of stand here, potentially have to tank more hits and fucking I'm not over here. Yeah, I mean like I reckon it's just as far as he can go. Like with disengaging thirty foot. Maybe not like too close to the trees. I feel like he would be a bit smart. Maybe if you could do it like just I in mean, the do middle down here. Uh, I don't think he's got enough movement. Just, like he could make it to yeah, like straight to down a bit. Like here. You go here? Yeah, but he wouldn't be too too smart to be too close to the trees and fighting plant monsters. Yeah, no, that is also a good idea. Uh, and who needs the bardic inspiration? Probably not you, Teclas. Just because I know you got whammed, but like next turn you'll have a much better AC. Yeah, no, I'm fine. I'm I'm, I'm fine. Yeah, I'm, I don't. I don't desperately Maybe want it. Your AC. Uh, my AC is 14, I believe. Definitely you. Thank you. 14, Jesus. You also need out. Yeah, I'm not going to lie, I'm not happy about being here. You do oh, have yeah. that awesome armory spell thing. 
I do, yeah. I do. But still, okay. it's not... You got some temp, temp HPs? Um... Derek's girlfriend, sorry, fiance. Derek's fiance is going to cast bark skin on herself because she definitely don't want to get whammed again. Nice. Um, she's going to stay there, though, I think. Um, Teclas, uh, Warman, you're next. Cool. Teclas is going to uh, Blade Song and he is going to cast Haste. I'm just going to actually kick it so that I can. Have it as a reference um and then he is going to charge this guy move up to him and we are going to hit him with a green flame blade before you do that do you want to uh, run around the back actually sorry i cannot i cannot attack him with a green flame blade you already used your action taste but you can run behind him so everyone else can get advantage yes Yes, no, I will certainly do that. Got and it would be cool, I'll sort of dance and jump over him. After a momentary pause in front of him, run up to him, and be like, oh shit, no, I can do this. <laughs> sort of, sort yeah, of I'll jump I'll over him. I'll take a dexterity, which you will have advantage on because of your haste. Mm hmm. Uh, dexterity, disable, just flat dex. Uh, no, oh yeah, I'll take acrobatics. Is it all dex? Or, well, I, I mean, I yeah, just came a, acrobatics are more than happy. Uh, twenty-four. Oh, it's only it's only on dex saving throws. Okay, I think all right. Hidden oh. in the wall of text, your blade song. There is something about having advantage. Uh, sorry. No, there's nothing about act breaks here. No, sorry. Um, I mean, you still, you still jump over him, the, the massive arm monster, but you nothing cool happens. Okay. Uh, apart from the, you leaping over, you know, a very large arm monster. I'll hit him with a normal attack per my action. So um, now have advantage on him, right? 15? Uh... Yeah, I will take because um, Charles Bain is engaging from range. Mm. And 15 hits. Please take five damage. Nice. Mm -hmm. Take five. Tickling him. Love it. I think that's a flat one. That's actually like rolling a one on the D6 because yep. it's plus three from Dex and then plus one from my sword. It's good shit, man. Sick. Oh, hey. show you how it's done. Or, or uh, arm yourself. Really. I mean, yeah, I, my 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 first course of action is going to be casting armor of Agathis. One hundred percent. I love it. Man. Absolutely uh, love it. So I'm going to gain my do, 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 ten hit points. <laughs> Suckers. Um. Anything so the second level. Oh, actually, sorry, I get 15, because I've got third level spells. I was about to say, are you not level uh, three now? I misread that. I thought it said above second level, not second level or higher. I still don't really understand how warlocks work. Do you just, like, get... They get, they get like, two... They're, they're like shotguns instead of, like, machine guns. So you like get... They, they have two, two shots, but they're fucking powerful. And you always cast at the highest spell level that you can cast at, so you don't have like multiple spell slots at what first level, second level, and third level. You have a pool sure. of, of spell slots which you cast. For instance, for me now is third level, and then you cap out at fifth level. But then you, um, the higher levels you get, you get like to choose uh, a sixth level spell and a seventh level spell and stuff. So <clears throat> nice. It's like spell casting for Yolo. Yeah. Yeah, it's very fun. Um, I don't really want to. Fifteen risk. HP. Mm. Yeah, dude, fifteen HP, and they they take like loads of damage when they hit me. So. Mm. Um, do I want to leave it there? Actually, I'm gonna move over here just to give people advantage. Give people advantage. Will that be advantage, people? Yeah, fuck it, we'll do it. 
Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And that'll be my turn. As Orman runs underneath the writhing plant, uh, it's Galeer's turn. So for Galeer, I have an initial thought. Talk to I'm me. thinking spirit weapon. Yeah. And run in and hit it with the hammer. Basically. Oh, I forgot everyone changes the screen when they're on the character sheet. Well, oh, yeah. Oh, it's alright. Yeah, no, it, it just changed. And I was like, what the fuck? I didn't do that. And I remembered that Paddy can look at it as well. <clears throat> um, yeah, I mean, well, spiritual weapon's a bonus action. Um, yeah, ooh. yeah, and then you get the action to hit. Alright, so who do we want? Where do we, I mean, that, uh, anyone can control the spirit weapon now. Anyone can control the monk. The tankard. Um, yeah, guys, place it where you want. Where what what one do you want to go after? Right, I'm thinking Galea should go up here with Ormond, mm -hmm. and so should the spirit weapon. Mm -hmm. Don't do that. So we're flanking. Yeah, yeah, yeah perfect. Awesome stuff. So, uh, someone give me a uh, Galea attack with advantage. I'll just take the first one in the chat. So it doesn't matter. Clear it was that a D twenty. Yeah, you just you just use oh, use yes. I will give you I'll give the character sheet. I've, I've done it, mate. Oh, yeah. Twenty twenty done it. Twenty hits. Damage nine. Nine on blue. Nine. And then we get to use the Warhammer not the Warhammer, the uh, the spiritual weapon as well, right? Yeah, yeah, so that is a uh, that's a spell attack roll. So that's a D twenty. Spell attack. Uh, e twenty plus seven. Twenty one. That is a hit. Yeah. Uh, and then d eight plus whiz. D eight plus four, you know. So good. I mean, what? Yeah. Okay. D eight. D eight. I'm not making up there. I used to. I used. To, I used to do this. No, I mean, because I saw that you can cast at a higher level spell slot. Um, oh, yeah, but I think I think it goes up in tiers of two levels for Spirit Weapon. Uh, no, it says it. I'm, I'm reading it off his character sheet. It says that if you cast it at third level, you get an extra D8. Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, for every two slots above second. Yeah, I didn't read that line. Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <clears throat> on our out cleric nameless Pete over here. What's going on? What's going on? What's going on? Um, yeah, but that is uh, not a lot of damage. Right, so it's just a setup turn. Just a setup turn. It's all eight damage, actually. That's pretty good. Yeah, exactly. Look, Charles Ben's got a varnish now. We're going to start tearing free shit now. Oh, yes, here we go. Here we go. Like I say, it's still, still haven't rolled above a four. Oh, we got a crit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Plus the two D6 from the Hunter's Mark and the Colossus Slayer. Oh, yeah, babe. Oh, that's what we're talking about. That's tasty. Here we uh, go. 14, uh, 30, 36, 47. Uh, he's, got, he's going nice. on the same one we did earlier, the green one. See? Fuck, and people say Rangers are shit. Fuck, fuck those people. Fuck those people. Um, it is now the uh, plants turn. Fuck off, plants. Uh, I think I'm, I'm going to do this fairly. I think uh, the green one's definitely going to throw all three at Trollsbane because fuck getting hit for 47. Uh, 99 and 15. Uh, only the 19... <laughs> It does take nine damage though. And his constitution saving throw. Burned it like a boss. Nice. Nice. Uh, 38. Oh, no, it can't do math. I can't do math. All right, and then. Uh, 
He's going to share the love. He's going to go uh, one at you, Orman. Uh, 19. Yeah, that hits, but he can take 15 damage for hitting me. Wow. Uh, he does do 10 bludgeoning. That's, that's all of my temporary hit points. You get 15, right? Oh, sorry. No, it is. Yeah, dude, I'm so dumb. I'm sorry, guys. I misspoke. Oh, cold damage as well. Does cold damage do anything to plants? That is true. No. Oh, I feel man. like it should. Think of Pokemon. It should. Is that what, yeah, Pokemon logic says that it does, so that's fucking... Now, Pokemon logic says fire fucking kills it. And ice. ice. Yeah. Yeah, ice, ice cold don't is. move to do fucking... No, the only condition immunities or anything like that is blinded and deafened. Rude. Can't be blinded or deafened. But they're fucking plants, man. Their languages are just as error. I guess they can't speak. Uh, and two at Glyr. Ooh. No, no. Glyr, no. <laughs> uh, 16, 18 damage. Uh, and I'll need a constitution saving throw from Galir as well. Oh, I'll need a constitution saving throw from you, Nor uh, Orman. Oh, shit. Uh, con save. I got a 16. You're fine. You're firming it. Uh, I'll do clear. Oh, so yeah, sorry. I'm reading a spell. Con save oh, of fine, six. Man. I'm going to use my final inspiration and give it to, to, to Galir. 11. That is a fail. That is not good. No, this isn't good. Uh... He's going to... Oh, fucking hell. I'm so sorry. Okay, he does take 21 poison damage. Oh, my God. But, I think... If he's got it on his character sheet... He takes half. He takes half, guys. Don't worry about it. Uh, that's only... Only 18... Eleven. So he's taking uh, how... 20, 29 damage. How much HP does he have? Uh, he has a total of fifty-three at the moment. Yeah, that's what that. Uh, so he's going down to twenty-two. Oh, thirty. Wait, fifty-three to twenty-nine, right? Twenty-four. Yeah, that one. My character just keeps saying that he's got. I just changed it. You did just change it. Yeah, yeah. All right. All right, well, that, that sucked a bit for people. Um, right, Derek needs to fucking chip in now. What are we thinking, guys? Dude, I don't know. Well, well, I've been reading Derek's character sheet. It doesn't have a lot in the way of uh, artillery, shall we say. It's got cloud control, though. Cloud. Crowd. Jesus Christ. Yeah. I was kind of thinking about... Dissonant whispers. Ooh. Is 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 Beyonce's fucked up? She rolled a two and a one with advantage. Wow. She, she she's wank. Oh, that's not bad actually. Right. Does it, does it require the language though? No. No. It says you whisper a discordant melody that only one creature of your choice can hear. And he has to run away, which means... Opportunity attacks. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah dude, I, I don't hate that, actually. I think that's a pretty good shout. Awesome. Uh, what do I What do I need to do? What does the, uh, you don't what does the do court flower need to do? You need to make a it's wisdom saving throw against Simon's DC, which is 15, I think. Uh, do you have plus It'd three be... to that? Oh, ten. Cool. Right. Yes. Sweet. I love it when I have a good saving throw, but I still roll that shit. Oh, joke. I'm um, on the player's side today. What about... So then it's 3d6 damage, right? Uh, I think it depends what level you guys are casting at. What level do you think you want to go for? Uh, da, 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 da. 
how many spell slots does he get of each? Yeah, I don't know. Four. Uh, four, four, and then three level twos. He gets four level threes. I mean, like how, like four how level, much? Four level ones, like, three level twos, and two level threes. Yeah, like if, if if you're just casting it to run away, I mean, like look, the, like it's got to run away from Derek, so it's Orman's even going to get an opportunity attack. Yeah, and to be fair, it's if we use one. So you, so you're gonna get, you're gonna get. Derek's fair, we, say, could, we could use Blair um, and Orman. We could use. I think we could use a level two because looking at the level twos, there isn't. Yeah, I would say I. I'm use a level two, cause... and then we get we get one more d6, right? So that's that's four d6, just in the psychic mm -hmm. damage without without the attacks of opportunity. Pete, does the does the spiritual weapon get an attack of opportunity? Um, I will allow no because it's a reaction. I will allow you to choose whether you want Glear to use her reaction to hit it or use her reaction to let the spiritual weapon hit it. But Take spiritual no, weapon every time. You'll you'll only get you'll only get one. The spiritual I will I that. will allow that. One d eight plus. Oh, dude, yeah, one d eight plus. What's Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah, spiritual weapon. Yeah. It's just better uh, by numbers. Yeah, all... Sweet. All right. So give me, give me the psychic damage from the dissonant whispers. Go for it, Paddy. I will indeed. Four d six. This is your big brain play. You go for it. Yeah, uh, subpar. subpar. I think that's isn't it average? Oh no, yeah, it's way below. No, four, fourteen's average. All right, so that's eleven, not bad. And that's on is that that's on blue, isn't it? Yes. Minus eleven. All right, sweet. And then give us some attack of opportunity. Uh, right, I'll do my attack of opportunity. Um, can I Eldritch Blast as attack of opportunity, or is that not allowed? Do you have the feat called Warcaster? Then no, I will. Use my sword. Stab him. Fucking 19, boy. Nice. Let's go. Nice. Oh, yeah. Also, Max, actually, Max, yeah. Oh, dude. Seven. Not bad damage. That's not bad damage. The only time Ormond's used his sword this campaign, and he's fucking nailing it. Yeah. Tasty. Watch me switch to this fucking sword right now. I hope it's a cutlass of some sort. Oh, absolutely. It's a cutlass. I mean, Orman, without even taking his turn, has done 22 damage so far. Get wrecked. Well, I did take um, my turn, but I didn't do any damage on my turn. Um, Galir, Galir uh, is actually going to have to hit her with her hammer. Because oh. uh, the, spirit, the spiritual weapon will also fall under the same warcaster. Okay. Sorry. I got excited. It's alright. It's alright. I just don't want to accidentally kill you guys because people aren't here, that's all. 17. Are oh, you good? I mean, you're hitting, sweet, yeah. Roll the damage. I mean, do we? Add, surely we get advantage on this because nine. We're surrounded That's by bad. people. Uh, yeah. I think, I, think I think that's max damage on that warhammer, by the way. Uh, Isn't it like is a warhammer a D eight or a D six? D eight. D eight. Well, D eight or D ten, depending on. Uh, Rob said. Works. Rob said like he dumped strength, but I think he's only got a plus one in strength, which isn't quite dumping, but like. Uh, yeah. Has he only got plus one in strength? Dude, his That's, strength is yeah, plus four. Is it? Yeah. I swear when I asked him, he was like, oh no, I didn't really like put much into strength because he was doing oh, it. No, he, yeah, it's because he's, he's got a magic item. Ah, <clears throat> uh, uh, okay. Minus nine from Galir. Um, Good damage, though. <clears throat> Good damage. Did the did the nice girlfriend fiance do an attack of opportunity? Ooh. Hey, yeah, double nineteens, here we go. <clears throat> I knew Simon kept her around for a reason. Six. Nice. Is the plant looking torn up at all at this point? Uh yeah, the blue one's now looking bloodied, the green one is already bloodied. Already bloodied. Get fucking right. Oh, because Troll, Troll, Trollsbane's been fucking pumping it. Yeah, dude. Trollsbane's here for 32 and 47. <clears throat> mm. Well, that's good. 
Mm -hmm. um, and Derek is going to chuck out. He's got another Bardic Inspiration. Wait, guys, where do you want this one to go? I'm still in combat. Send it. All right, it's gone to you. Patrick. Uh, someone uh, done the spell slot as well? Uh, no, I didn't know. Nice, and when you've done that, can you uh, also do the Bardic Inspiration as well, please, Dave? What, uh, what, do you, what do you mean by do the Bardic Inspiration? Put it in chat. Oh, he's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a resource pool? No, no. Um, there, it, oh, yeah, it's, uh, there it is, so we need to get rid of two of them. Okay. Uh, no, no, I've already done the one. Ah, okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, if you can do that one. Uh, Techless. Yes, Techless Send is going to make some attacks. He's going to boom in blade for one, and then a uh, normal attack from his, uh, from his, uh, haste. Do I have advantage for any reason? Kind of engaging yeah. in combat with Charles Bane? Uh, well, yeah, or, or I also just moved the, uh, Simon's girlfriend here, so Simon's girlfriend can stand literally directly opposite you if you, if you would like. Sweet. So, he's, he's, uh... He's, he's just hit for eight. That is a, so that's a 26 and a 20. Oh, wow, both hit, yeah. Nice. Booming Blade uh, does 15. And, oh, dude, you this could be close. Uh, a 9 from my regular attack. That's uh, so a 24 in total, yeah? Yep. It is barely up. Oh. Where you bring? I'm just gonna get the kill. I think Almond's gonna get the kill, mate. Pew pew! As it, as it is, Almond's go next. Pew 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 pew! Uh. Yeah, Almond's gonna Almond's gonna fire out an Eldritch blast. <clears throat> pew pew! Uh, do He's I get firing at old Greenie? I am firing at old Greenie. <laughs> Yeah, but I mean, two hits, man. Bam! Bam! 13. Your silence makes me feel sad. Yeah, I just, I just wanted to. Um, oh, but he has double tapped it, and he needed to, as he had Orman. Orman, how do you want to do this? How do you want to finish off Greeny, the green corpse flower? As you nail it for thirteen. Orman. Orman, I think you might DC from. He, he has typed hold on in the chat. Oh. Technical difficulties being cited. Uh, all right, uh, Patrick, while we wait for Orman to come back, what do you. F oh. I mean, it made the noise, but he's not back yet. Yeah. Um. Uh, can the spiritual weapon move far enough to attack? So yes. Okay. Is that a bonus action? It's a bonus move action it? to move it, move it twenty foot and attack with it. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, I think Galera would definitely do that. I don't know. If she goes as far as to fire off a guiding bolt, probably it's a sacred flame, right? Yeah, yeah, there you go. Sacred flame, sacred flame, perfect. Yeah, uh, all right. The dex, uh, do you want to roll the d20 for the spiritual weapon? Mm -hmm. As it has failed its dexterity saving throw, okay, so a oh, definite hit, definite hit with the. 
I die spot just shows them. Damn this piece of shit laptop. Two eighty eight as well. Seven. Two D eight? No no, no so that's from the Sacred Flame. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm saying that's, that's good. Not bad. Um it's D eight plus three? Or no, D eight plus four, right? For the spirit weapon? Yeah, for um, yeah. Okay, that's seven. Uh, 14 total from Galea. Very hello, nice. Hello, hello. David! Hey. Did I fix Sorry, it? Sorry, Ormond. Yeah, yeah, yeah you, you did fix it. How do you want to... How do you want to do this? How do you want to fell this evil, foul-smelling plant monster? Uh, so, <clears throat> as Teclis sort of slices the fucking shit out of it, I see it, like, breathing its last breath. I'll just look it in the eyes and say, uh, your compost. And I'll beam it. <laughs> Straight to the dome. That, that's pretty good. That is your compost. Excellent, man, yeah. Have some inspiration. Yes, I need it. Straight out of, like, 2002 Nickelodeon. Yeah, dude. Oh, straight out, of com straight out of compost would have. I would have also respected. Oh, straight out of compost. That was so much better. No. <laughs> uh, well, that was a team one. That was a team one. Um, as you kill this green uh, plant monster, though, it sort of its putrid, planty flesh explodes. Oh dear. And out of it. Come five what zombies. The, what the fuck? Oh yeah, these are these aren't your mama's plants. Fucking gross. Um. How how big balls does Charles Bane really want to go? I don't think he needs to spaff everything. If that's what he's you mean. He's not really a spaffer. He's just sort of a, a high floor kind of guy. I more mean, I just, I think I just want to take the attack of opportunity because I'm greedy. Can someone roll a d20 for me. For the zombies attack of opportunity. Oh, fuck. Well, oh, you you were... Just don't, just yeah, don't they, look at my one. Just don't look at my one. It's fine. Oh, no, that's fine. Look, guys, this is D&D. &D. Uh, right, Dave, please roll. I mean, it's, it's 1d6. Um, or you can roll, obviously, 2d6. I mean, we're doing the 2d6, because that's just how it yeah, works. 2d6 plus 1. 8. Right. Dave? Roll takes 8. Paddy? It sounded like you fucking cut off there for a sec. Oh. I'm lagged. Or something. I thought it was okay. Uh, he's going to dacker the blue one that's running away. Oh, two hits. Look at this guy go. Trolls, boo. Trolls, boo. I mean, he's plus 11 to hit. That's just. It's pretty disgusting. That's just a lot. It's just, it's just, it's just, it's just <laughs> when I grow up, I want to be Trolls Bane. Uh, so that is 28. Oh, plus his 8. Mm. Mm. Uh, I'm so bad, I forgot my fucking hunter's mark. Well, to be fair, I'd probably just use David's phone. Doesn't matter. Bad Pete. Um, it is the plants go. As this plant rallies and immediately moves towards you, Ormond. No. No. Stay away. Oh, it can't. It, that's, that's the only bad thing. It can't hit the spiritual weapon, you see. It has rolled like dog shit, though. Only plus five. So the max is a 14. I think 14 is the magic number. Oh, it is the I mean, magic right, number. One hit better than, better than three. Right, well, he can take 15 for hitting me because I still have my temporary hit points. Can't. 
Damn. It roars with pain as you nearly down it with the armor of Agathis. Good. And stay what? out. As it slams you for just seven. That's really I think not... psychologically it is kind of damaged. It does unfortunately get rid of all of my temporary hit points though. A bit rude, but um, I will also need a constitution saving throw from you. Yes, you will. Permit. Oh, we'll use that inspiration you gave me. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> How much do I get for bardic inspiration? Uh, uh, D8. D8. Is that going to make a difference? I mean, you have to roll an 8 for it to do anything. Uh... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Fuck. Oh my god, Pete. Will you leave me alone? Honestly, my poison damage has been on fire. I've rolled 21 and 22. That is nutty rolling. That is over I've, half my I've health. I've dropped five more points of damage out of 48. I mean, look, guys, we all knew my rolling was going to turn at some point. I don't. I did wish it wasn't today, though. Norman, how are you feeling? Poisoned. Um, you know, some 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 plant man has fucking pricked me with the with the sticky end, and now I'm feeling a little bit woozy. <laughs> Someone get that man some penicillin and stat. <laughs> My head's your lad. As the zombies are gonna wail on Eric's fiance. Oh dear, two hits with the advantage on either side. God damn. So right, they tickle her for six. Barely, barely anything. Oh, one on Trolls Bane. Oh, for fuck's sake. Stop, Pete. No. <laughs> I'm just... That's twice he's been quit. Trolls Bane takes another six damage. All right, Trolls Bane's now on 29, guys. I don't I don't need to sound any alarms, but we're going to need Glid to start healing people. Bro, start I'm on warming. 18. Why are you moaning about being on 29. But starting with you, dude. I was just saying we might need a little bit of different tact. I think he's gonna to have to start running around to start heal with heal wounds in people. Cure wounds in people. Dude, he's gotta have something more powerful than that. <clears throat> cure wounds is a D eight plus all of his dope extras. Yeah, doesn't he get like plus eight to that or something? And then he also heals for some. Yeah. Yeah, yeah dude, he's got he's got he's got mad shit. He's got mad shit. Um you do start to hear rustling in the bushes, though. Oh, it appears that this commotion is drawing other corpse flowers towards you. What the fuck? Uh, and the two zombies on you, Teclas, and then it will be Derek's go. So start thinking about uh, what you want Derek to do. Uh, that is a 23 and a 18. 23 and an 18, eh? Yes. One hit. Saves the shield. I, th I respect that. Oh, and he's rewarded with just three damage. The the numbers, everyone. Techless <laughs> true elf. Your life total is a resource. Exactly. <laughs> why, would, why would Wizards of the Coast give it to you if they didn't want you to lose it? Exactly. What truly is the difference between 17 and 14 HP? Jesus. Squeaky bum time, <laughs> that's what. This is I'll, getting pretty squeaky. Clearly I'll still with two people. Oh, what, if only Derek took a fucking healing spell. Right, it is Derek's go, though. You've got, you've got a collection of zombies to the south, sort of... Mm, not doing much. Actually, to be fair, those zombies are doing far greater work than I ever thought they would. They've chipped in. They've done like a combined total of like probably around 15 damage or so. I mean, there's nothing to be sniffed out, let's be honest. Tickled, right, tickled, like... tickled Tom and Beyonce for, for six. They've hit they've hit Teclas. They've connected with Teclas, which is more than I thought they would. And they've quit fucking Trolls Bane twice. Yeah. Busy. Um... <laughs> I definitely think it's another bardic inspiration over to Old Orman. Sure. 
unless well, it's just you, you're squishy and you're 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 near that 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 thing. I am near that thing. That is uh, mm -hmm. worrying. There's more things on the way. Uh, what do you think of his his action? Yeah. It looks really bloody. Those. It really did not like getting uh, whammed for that cold damage from Orman's armor. Orman, what is your armor made out of? I imagine, always imagined it was like made out of like sea sea things. Like I don't know he had he had like starfish for, for shoulder pauldrons and stuff. Um, they're not. I wouldn't say they're made out of um like sea things. They it is very much like a traditional sort of pirate gear. But there are, yeah, there, he, he's like, he's like sort of um, added to it in his own sort of way. So yeah, he has like, I wouldn't say starfish things on his like, um, what do you call them? Like shoulder. It's not, it's not what more are they called? Yeah, I mean, uh, pauldrons. Pauldrons, that's the word. Um, probably more conch shells. Um, like big, big fuck off conch shells. Um, because he's 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 tiny, so they look big on him anyway. Um, and he's got like a seaweed belt. Um. And a bunch of other stuff, which I do have written down somewhere, but I can't go into it right now because I don't know where I saved it. Oh, um, oh that's awesome. But yeah, no, he's got a load of uh, a load of sort of like sea trinkets um, to sort of uh, aid his his appearance. Does he sound like a wind chime when he moves? Uh, yeah, you know, you know when you you sat near that person at school that had all the bracelets and it always just clanged on the fucking table. That's Orman. <laughs> nice. Nice. So, what, what are we thinking for Derek's action? Dude, uh, I was looking at some of his uh, CC stuff, but like your, you and the bitch are in the way. Um, I mean, I think just damage, right? Yeah, that's yeah, what I'm thinking, but I like, mean, it, it, it doesn't really have like massive damage things. Doesn't he have like a crossbow or something or something? Like, so. He has a hand crossbow that was pretty good last time. Could just hand crossbow it. Yeah, to be honest, he, he does have some good CC stuff, but we're too close. Like, he's going to fucking end up hitting us. So, yeah, yeah. Just fucking fire off a bolt, baby. Fire off a bolt, baby. I'll do it for him. And crossbow. Ha! Huh. Oh, he's crit! Oh, shit! Beast. Dude! I never doubted him. Um. Straight for the fucking noggin. Do you know what? He only just does it, even though he's crit. Yeah, I was going to say that's very underwhelming. Classic Derek, just <laughs> enough. All the style in the world, and it like just grazes the plant monster, and he just like falls over because he got tetanus from his bolt or something. As more zombies explode from the putrid flower, Teclas, it is your go. Go on, Reckless. Reckless is this turn just going to he's going to hit with his I can split the attacks, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you, you can even roll one attack, see if you do anything, hit, kill it, etc, and then choose what you want to do with the other attack. Okay. Booming Blade is going first. On the one in front of me, hits. to my right. Please take. Come now, come on. 16 damage. You rock the zombie to your right and it immediately looks bloodied. Damn. We'll hit it with our normal weapon attack. Ah. 11. Do you still have your Bardic Inspiration? I do indeed, and I was so ready to use that. Oh, wait, wait. <laughs> I'm, I'm actually... I'm, sorry, sorry. D DMVAR. An 11 hit. <gasps> an, an 11 hit? I'm not joking. Yeah, yeah I missed... Jesus. I missed they, are they are zombies. They are zombies. An 11 hit. 8 damage. You do it for exactxies. It has 22 health. Damn, nice. son. I can cut down one around. Nice. Uh, me too. Yeah, one shot.
Uh, the zombies constitution saving throw. Ah, oh, sad. He fails. That zombie is indeed dead. He rolled a 19 and he failed. And you did wham him for 22. Oh, he has to get over the damage. Uh, five plus the damage taken. Ah. Uh. Unless the damage is radiant or from a critical hit. Ooh. Radiant, you say? Indeed. Uh, it is Galir's go. Uh, I'm assuming bonus now... action is going to be using the, the spirit weapon. Definitely. And I think now is the absolute perfect time to turn on Spirit Shroud. Spirit Guardians. Spirit Guardians, sorry. That's no, it. That's right. I just wanted to make sure, yeah. I mean, can... Does he have the movement to fucking go straight up? No, I yeah, think... That, that is he's... not... Sorry. Oh, if, if, he's, if he switches it on... Oh, yeah. If he switches it on here... He will get two of the green ones for for free. And they then, won't get. Think, how many of yeah. the blue ones can he get? I feel I feel like if with between his movement. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah, but I think if if you want to get all of them, you get like he's gonna have to commit to the north or the south side of the map. Well, don't forget saying. it happens when when they come into his area as well. So, obviously on my turn, I'm gonna be moving the fuck away from these guys. So the yeah, yeah. So the, 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 the first turn have... you get to double dip. Yeah. So actually, yeah, it makes sense for Galir to go down, turn it on, and then, like, wait for the blue to come to him, because, yeah, they have to walk into it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Yeah, yeah, so that's, yeah, no, you're right. Go down. Definitely. Question is, how, how many of them can he... Probably can only get to about here. Hang, hang on here? one second, guys. Hello. Oh, dude. Oh, shit. How'd you do That's that? Right. He read some fucking rules. Oh. But I, I just researched roll 20 a tiny bit. I still can't <laughs> make your final order work, but you can have auras. Sick. That's all I've ever wanted. Uh, yeah. Uh, all right, four. Oh my god, that's radiant damage as well. It is radiant damage. Four with saving throws. I think only one's passed. <clears throat> only one has passed. Sweet. Um, can someone please roll the three? Dear, I presume you're choosing radiant damage rather than the necrotic. Well, necrotic's yes. if he's evil, isn't it? Radiant is if he's good or neutral. Oh, I'd have let you choose. Oh. Thanks, DM. A mighty 11. I mean, they, they all take 11. Often the one that succeeded, because he's a hero. Does he take half? He takes half. That's going to be zombie number four. So... Okay. Awesome. So that was his action and his bonus action. He gets to uh, use the... his spiritual weapon. Just slap one of the zombies next to it, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, buddy. What is that, D I just got you. I've got hit it. the D. You've got it. You like, do hit. That is an just 11. Stop letting, with... Just stop letting me roll. No, dude, an 11 hits. They're zombies. Fair. Fair. I still say we should stop letting me roll because I'm just like, look at my. Look at them rolls. Terrible. I mean, look, you, you, you guys are controlling Galir. I've already got, I've already got weird, weird plants, zombies, and and trolls playing. Uh, hit, hit, Pat. Can you roll damage for me? Yep. Or, or, or not if you don't want to roll. And Dave, Dave can do it. I'm already there. Fine. Seven damage. Ah, oh, big, big fucking turn from Galir there. Forty-six damage and all. Very nice. Mhm. Mm 
Uh, it's pussy if Trolls Bane uses his action to disengage, right? Sort of. If it makes sense to the character, though, I don't see why not. Ah, uh, Trolls Bane's fucking hardcore. No, you're not hardcore. Uh, Dave, wait, wait, Dave, where are you going to run to? As you'll go. Uh, as close to seeing this aura around Galera, as close to Galera as I can. That's very true. You're like, damn, that looks safe. Yeah. Crossman's going to take the attack opportunity. Don't do me day. For fuck's sake. Pete, you need to learn that your oh, dice. Jesus Christ. I'll punish myself at every turn. This fucking... In fact, Crossman was going to start dackering these cunts up here. I think he just he's just going to have to deal with this guy. This guy's got a hate bone at seven. He's done 20 damage to him. Alright, he's going to favour the enemy, that fucking guy. Wow. Yeah, he's dead. He's dead like a troll dead. Troll. He thinks... Trollsbane says to you as he slays this zombie that that, that was a, a troll-related zombie. Like a troll's left arm or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, they're definitely in some sort of, like, cahoots. 19, and he will uh, fire his second uh, longbow shot at one of the others up here. Uh, the one who's already taken damage. Eleven. Oh, not, not enough, but that, that, that one is now bloodied. Uh, it's the one with red that is bloodied. Mm -hmm. As... As two more carnivorous plants emerge. Oh, wait, Orman, have we missed you? Uh, yeah, dude, I haven't had a go in a while. Last thing I did was kill this. Yeah, yeah. I think we've just missed you, though, because Tekla's killed a zombie and Glare turned on her aura. Yeah. So sorry, dude. So sorry. That's my. That's entirely my fault. Oh, that's all right. What? I think you might... I think you might... Uh, right. Yeah. Take, take your go now, bud. Sorry, sorry. Okay. And, and now you have the added advantage of seeing that there are two more carnivorous plants. Oh, dude. On your left and right <clears> flank... <throat> I'm just muting for a sec while I piss, guys. One sec. Leave it on if you're bad. Bursy. Bursy. He pretends he's one of the lads, but he won't even let us listen to his wee. Uh, I'm going to fireball this one. going to fireball that one? Wow. Yeah, I am. Yeah, I am. Uh, dex check coming up. Mm. Mm. 14. No way, Jose. It says spell save DC 13 there, Dave. I don't know why right. it does that. I'll look at that in a yeah, minute. Yeah, I, I, I did presume it was higher. Yeah, dude, it's 16. Um, so how many D6 am I rolling? I'm rolling... 8. Oh, Pete's in my spell sheet. Yeah, I'm, it's so weird because I, I thought that your your spell save DC says sixteen. Yeah, and I don't, I, I can't see anything to say to see why it says thirteen. I don't understand. Let me just. Uh... I don't know. Uh, okay. right, it, it has failed. Please roll. Please roll your damage as I um. 
Five and fixes. Dude, I nearly rolled 89 D D6. I'd have allowed it. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> that, that, would, that would have been sick. Dude, that's really not great. Two ones, but two sixes. And then fives and a two. Oh, that's not bad. 31. 31 fire damage to Mr. Purple Boy. Thirty one, damn. He takes thirty one fire damage to purple. <gasps> uh, Mr. Meacher. It is Derek um, Stallions. Alright, now that now that he can hear us, should we just charge Derek into melee combat? Oh, we've already done that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Derek's gone hand to hand with some fucking boys. That's <laughs> never happened in these situations. And if it has, it's right. because you're just treating him badly, and that's just no. Crazy. He's trying. He's trying to earn the title of Derek Dragon Slayer, all by himself. <laughs> I mean, it does sound like him. No, it doesn't sound like him. What the fuck are you talking about? What are you talking about? he have been hiding nah. behind everybody. Well, that what, been... Been... Actually, you do, heard... do you know what? True, true to character, the first thing they did was immediately disengage and remove Derek from right away from everyone. Hold on, since when? Why, why is Derek even being played? I thought that like you just don't play as the character. When, oh, yeah, it's not a serious fight if you need a, if you actually needed his fire pass. Yeah, that's yeah, exactly what's happened. Yeah, because Rob's yeah, not here either, Pete, so it would have been me and Paddy versus the fucking world. Yeah, Pete's got a serious encounter lined up, so just not having half the player characters wasn't really an option. Well, it was if you were to die. Well, yeah, like we could have died, like you know. Right, shit, so I've just joined and we're about to die. No, 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 no,
All right. Uh, well, they've all failed. Can someone please roll me three d eight, and one of them has crit failed. All right, Dave, you you've got this. Twelve. Twelve is enough. Um, <clears throat> there is only oh, really. There's only one zombie left standing now, and because it is radiant damage, all, all three of them don't even get to take their constitution saves. They immediately combust. Uh, the one who is still standing, is he's, he's going to tickle you, Patrick. He, he fancies it. This is zombie number... No, he doesn't. He's rolled an 11. <laughs> yeah, no. Um... Simon, this isn't a joke, but you're, you're going to get hit. Don't worry, it's your go next. Uh, but Derek is going to take three tentacle attacks. Oh, oh fuck. Mm. That's a 21, a 22, and a 21. He just killed Derek. Probably, he's just joined and I'm going to down his character. See, this, this is without any input from us as well, I want to point out. Sorry. This is just, this is just the way... Oh. Derek can use his reaction. This might save his life. To do this. He can make it make it re-roll one of its attacks. I would do that. That is unfortunate that I have rolled still the same. Pete, Pete. Come on, mate. Well, look, unless anyone has any portent rolls that they want to use, then this is going to happen. Uh, I think I did have one, actually. I can't remember what it was. Oh, sorry, Derek is dead when I'm not controlling it. This is a class. What the fuck is going on? He's not gonna die, he might just go down. Alright, it's going down. Are you young ready to like he was actually fucking dead? No, okay, fine, go down. That's fine, that's fine. You better just fucking save him. Jesus. You guys can't be left alone with combat, man. Fucking hell. I mean, they come around and you all fucking die. He's fucking fine. That's happened yet. He's just, he has got hit a bunch, unless anyone has any portent rolls that they would like to use. Anyone? Well, I no, did I have one, I just right don't back. remember what it was. Because it was like two weeks oh. ago now. <clears throat> should have written it on your character sheet, brother. I should have. No, I didn't. Alright. Uh, uh, that's ten. Eight. And another eight. So, twenty-six. <laughs> I mean... Derek is still up, but uh, is now going to need to make three Constitution saving throws. Oh, the first man, one passes. Oh, go on, Derek. Go oh. on, Derek. Oh, 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 oh. oh that's unfortunate. Um, I tell you what, Hello. Charles Bane, Charles Bane's going to use his last. He, well, he only had one, but he, Charles Bane's going to use his inspiration and give it to Derek. Uh, but I, I will you. require someone else to roll the constitution saving throw. Go on, Paddy. I believe in you. Oh, but my dice oh, rolling is so cursed. Well, I mean, I'll do it if you want. I'll do it if you want. Nah, fuck it. This is what he deserves. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a 20! Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, 20 passes. Eric, inspired by Trolls Bane's... I don't know. He'd probably just give you a menacing look. That'd be a bitch. Throw, throw a troll ear at you. Just fucking do bad. Don't be a troll. As he doesn't need to take any any poison damage, but is severely bloodied and only alive on five health. As this other uh, corpse flower also walks towards you. Oh, I mean, yeah, that one's going to wallop Trolls Bane, because it can. Uh, the That is a 14, 18, and a 10. So the 18 does hit. 
nine. I think Tall Glue's gonna go down. Oh no. Oh shit. Yeah, and that's a roll. Super poorly hit. Yeah, no chances. But the poison damage has been on point. Yeah. All right, uh, Troll, Troll's Bane is down. Oh. That's an interesting development. I would I... recommend getting him up. Um, <coughs> it is Derek's go. Uh, in standard Derek fashion, I do think that now that he has been engaged upon by a vicious foe, he would almost certainly want to just run away from it. Um, I think, I think disengage I actually is a very good idea. Disengage I do have potions. I do have potions here. I don't know how that yeah, might help Charles me, but I have some potions. I, th I think I you are. I can't see the map. You're on like one HP and you're in melee combat against a big monster. I think you would just disengage and run away, man. 100%. Yeah, I I fully agree. I mean, he's 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 got two Tim Westwood berries, but I still think five five health in. No, he he needs to run. Yeah. Uh, all right, I I've disengaged him. Can someone please move him to a suitable position on the map? There's not too many suitable positions left. I feel like he needs to go up, maybe. Nah, dude, he doesn't want to isolate himself. Like, surely he wants to come uh, over come, to us. Come, to, come towards the magic uh, chip yeah. shredder. Yeah, true. Yeah, if he comes down to like near me, maybe, because that's where his uh, fiance is as well. Is this zombie still alive? Uh, that one is, but uh, Eric's fiance has just clobbered him for six. <gasps> Get him. Did we? Did did you establish her name? Enough. Is she? Is has she got a name? Oh yeah. Uh, well, I don't. I don't know. Uh, Derek, do we have a name yet? Okay, I can't speak for all times while I'm typing. You know, it's pretty, pretty complicated stuff. But, uh, so just no, 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 no. She will. She will if she fucking survives and helps me out right now. Then she deserves a fucking name. Well done. That's what she gets. Uh, well, she's. She's just killed a zombie, further impacting her case. I'm just going to get back to her. Like, well done, well done. I'm just clapped on the floor next to her, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Um, Teclas, it is your go. What are, you, what are you thinking? You have four zombies up to the north and two more carnivorous plants. Eric is severely bloodied. He's uh, running towards you and Troll's Bane is down. Uh, so Teclas is going to use his movement to go to here. He is going to use his, uh, first action to pour a fucking health potion down Trollsbane's neck. Uh, uh, take one of them off there. So, it's a five HP pot. Nice, thank you very much. As as, as Trollbane, Trollsbane regains consciousness, he says, "Thank you, brother." Uh, Technus is like really sped up, so he's just you know because he's hasted, so he sort of like zipped over, put it in his mouth. You're up, and you're like, "Thank you, brother." He's like, "Yeah, don't fucking worry about it." And then you just spin round and swing his sword at the uh, at the monster. Uh, you will. Uh, you can. You can cast your cantrip because you can use your hasted action. Your almost little lesser yes. action. I've no. I've one. not. Yep. I will cast my booming blade. As Teclis is hasted, does he gurn? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Anyone want to go for a war? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. No one. Yeah. No one. No, help us. Just a help us. <laughs> oh, just you know. Just, I just fucking love this guy. <laughs> nice as he booming blades for 21 for 21 power, 16, 16 damage. damage your damage has been a lot better this session it's actually because i'm like i'm rolling i think i've actually rolled kind of well but it's just been there's been like two weeks of combat 
where both times I just sort of rolled dog shit the entire time. And yeah, I can I can actually do real damage now, guys. Like, not crazy, but you know, real. Nice. As you do 16 damage, Orman, it is your go. Orman is going to probably move closer to the gang. Yeah, mo moving closer to the aura and away from everything else seems like a good idea. Um, See if you can drag it down to you. Yeah, but I mean, it, it, they're all going to come for us, aren't they? Like, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, the zombies will shamble towards you. I don't actually have a spell slot, but I also feel like I need to keep up damage. Oh, no. Uh, what, I, think, what, I think just a move, a move in an Eldritch Blast is fine. Like. Nah, dude, we're going to use Pearl of Power. Get a spell slot back. That way, next turn, I can yeah, actually I, do I more damage. I think having a fireball in the chamber is just a good idea at this point. Yep. Um, And, yeah, that'll be my turn. Awesome. Uh, it is Glear's go. She has the active tripper shedder. Where would you like her to go? Uh, should we do the oh, oh. should we do the spiritual weapon first? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The bonus action, absolutely. It can move up to twenty foot and hit one target. Well, should we just move it to fucking here and smack that one? I would move it one more, cause, just because it can. Is it because yeah, it can yeah. only move twenty foot? Um, yeah, then smack that one. Oh, the bloodied one, to the right. Oh, uh, yeah, that makes more sense, doesn't it? Yeah. I guess that hits, I can't remember what the, the plus is. Absolutely, yeah, plus seven. And, and also, uh, we know we know an 11 hits the zombies, they are... Oh, slow. yeah, that one's bad. Oh, oh, daddy! I'm blown up. Gonna require a good con check to get back up. Oof, no. Straight black. Tell you, you, you guys have not had a single zombie. You've done six now, and not one has gotten back up. You guys are experts in killing zombies. Thanks, one once or twice before, you know. It's not our first zombie radio. It is not. That's right. I've played Plants vs. Zombies before. I never played that. It was pretty entertaining, I won't lie. Basically, like balloons towered events. Yeah. Who's going it? It is Troll's Bane's go. Troll. Uh, who is on what health? Uh, Orman is on eighteen. Uh, Derek is uh, on five. How, how, how much you get, like? Are we are we bloodied? Like like I'm talking yes. like. Who who needs help? Who needs help the most? Derek. Yeah, don't worry about me. Derek is on five HP. All right, so I've got Derek Derek Orman, and I'm not gonna lie, Charles Bain's gonna do himself. Yeah, that's fine. But I feel like we should use Galea to actually heal us up when it's her turn. Uh, yeah, the problem is uh, the plants are gonna go before Galea again. Oh shit! We just used Galea, didn't we? Did we do anything for oh, Galera? No, 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 we didn't. We didn't. No, no, what's, we yeah, what's, what's her action? Yeah, you just move, you just move the thing. Um, she's got an action. She can. Uh, move, she, uh, I would move, move up, get some more with the AOE, and like cast a healing spell. Dude, I wouldn't even move um, her though because the zombies are gonna have to come towards us anyway because they can't target the spirit weapon. So right, like, but, so she's, she's, she's got an action. And the only because she's used her bonus action to use a spirit weapon, you've got cure wounds, which is a great healing spell, but it does require touch. So she can either uh, touch Orman now, or move towards Derek and cure wounds, or move towards Trolls Bane and cure wounds. Or uh, you got you got you got a cantrip available with Sacred Flame. All right, what if? You could cure wounds on Norman, right? Move up here, which brings all of the fucking zombies into the zone. Well, it might miss one. But, and and like, also they're in, they're, they get half movement while they're in the zone. Yeah, so like come up here, 
hit the plant monster and the, at least a couple of the zombies with the, with the damage after having cure wounds on you, Orman. Mm. And then that way, like, they're in the damage. They're going to start their turn in the damage as well. Um, yeah, fair. Which is going to be useful. And puts a bit of distance. Like, it might be two turns until the plant monster is actually on, like, on Galir. If you, if you do move it that way, you you are surrendering Derek to this plant. It yeah. can move. Like, it's going to hit him three times if no one else is in range. Derek's on his feet. If he goes down, he'll turn know. around and save him. I don't know. If he goes down by one attack and then he gets pummeled by two more attacks and he has two death saves. Uh, he'd be dead. Well, yeah. Okay. For the sake of saving Derek, maybe the action should be to give him some more HP? Yeah, I don't think that's a bad idea. Yeah, just move move and cure wounds, Derek, is a, is a, I think is a, great, is a good play. Yeah, I, I think that is the play. Yeah, I was actually just uh, sorting out the spell slots. Cool. <clears throat> Cure wounds at level one or two. Uh, what's the difference when you do it at two? How much more do you get? Extra, extra D eight for each level up. I think you should just do it at two. Yeah. Yeah. Give Derek a fighting chance. So it'd be like two D eight plus four. Plus another four, I think. From like his healing thing. Yeah. So it's like two D eight plus eight basically. And I believe Galea gets four back or something. So I roll 2d8? Yeah, yeah, go for it. Oh, wait, that was just one. That's 17 HP back to Derek. Nice, back up to 22, relatively healthy. And then the move. Uh, well, he's she's already Glear's already moved to. Oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. Into touch range. I'm just gonna nip to the kitchen to get my food. One second. All right, are we are we all happy with um with Galea? Yeah. Yep. Fantastic. Right. All right, uh, Trolls Bane is going to deploy a different tactic. He's going to cast Spike Growth. Ooh. He's going to use his action to disengage. Uh, 
uh, as it is the gems go, the plants go. Uh, Teclas, the yes. flower attacking you. Mm -hmm. uh, seven, a 23, and a 24. Shield. Does that get all of them? Yes. Nice. What's your base A? What's your base AC when you've got the haste and the blade song just sort of like humming? Uh, twenty-two. Oh, so twenty-seven. Nice. Yeah. Awesome. Mark the spell slot off. Mm -hmm. As these zombies are, I mean, I'll, I'll, in the interest of fairness, I will make them have the wisdom saving throw, but they are at minus two. Oh my god. One of the one of the zombies has realised that trekking through this hazardous terrain will hurt it. Wow! Didn't think zombies had uh, things. The other two, they can only move ten foot because it's difficult terrain, uh, and they take four damage. Oh no! It takes two d four for every five foot. They take ten damage. Not. So banter. Uh, Pete, do you have dinner? Or do you need to get dinner? Because I'm now off the boat. Yeah, no, no, dude, I, I text you. I said I've got everything. We need to do a game. Oh, okay. Alright, cool, cool, cool. Alright. Like well, I can speak now at any point, but I'm now just walking. Yeah, okay. Nice. Um. And this plant will indeed move one, two, three, uh, four. And it will. Wisdom save for um, for it, Gordon? Yes, absolutely. Uh, it has failed its wisdom save. It can take. A mighty Ooh, 15. Ooh, plus four, 19 damage. Wait, no, is it plus? No, no, I think no, it is. no. It's not, no. No, no, no pluses for that. It's still 15, great. Yeah, 15 is great, yeah. Uh, as it will still swing at Derek, but Derek now has sufficient health to fall back on. Uh, a 24, a 16, and a 8. 16 is the magic number, so two hits. I th I think Eric should use a spell slot, uh, another silvery bars on the on one of the attacks. I think, I think yes. that is yeah, yeah. entirely correct. So, so, so uh, Sorry, I shouldn't do that. Derek's not here. My bad. I will uh, I will get rid of that off your character sheet for you. Uh, it has still rolled a 12, which does mean it will unfortunately still hit. So it's, but it's, it's, oh, because it's plus, yeah. Yeah, it's, a, it's a still plus 5, but it's still still the right play. Uh, rewarded with 6 damage and 9. So just just 15 Still up. Still up. Uh, but I do need two constitution saving throws from Derek. Can someone please roll them for me? I'm sorry, Simon. I'm doing it for you. <laughs> a 16 and a 7. Oh, dude, across those four <laughs> rolls, you rolled three sevens. What the fuck? No, no. Mental. I can't. I, I'm really sorry, Simon. You are on seven, and I have rolled four d six, and I've I have got seven. I rolled three ones and a four. Wow, that that's... is hilarious. <laughs> that's <laughs> been very unfortunate. So below average, but as you only just succumb to the poison and are unfortunately downed in in almost exact fashion, because you you actually killed a massive plant monster earlier for exactsies with your crossbow pistol, your with your hand crossbow. Yeah, dude, you crit. It was great. Yeah. Fucking hell. Let's 
Which is just, this all sounds like poor character management, but I, I love it. No, I, I, I feel like we've done well. I feel like you're, you're being... Derek 1.4 has never been downed, and then he has, what, been downed twice, is it? Since I've He's never been, been surrounded by four big-ass monsters that spawn zombies, either. Like... Yeah, because he positions himself very well, but, you know, whatever. He's it, down. He's down. Small, we are in a small clearing. Like... <laughs> there is not a lot of wiggle room here. Mm-hmm. I do have some good news though, Derek. Uh, you have passed your death save, and your girlfriend is dragging you to safety, away from the vicious plant monster. While sucking your dick. Kids, kids of life must be a thing, right? Is it? No, it's just a casual. Well, she, 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 is, she is going to try a medicine check. How would you like her to medicine check you? What? Definitely the kiss of life. You know, like a romantic one, not a weird, creepy one like Dave was about to suggest, but like, just, uh, <laughs> just a nice kiss on the lips. She, <laughs> nice. she, I don't know what you're talking about. She has about. failed her... Oh, wait, wait, sorry. I will, I will do this properly. She might have a plus to... Uh, I don't think she has a plus to win, but I will check. She's rolled a nine. You need a ten. She has plus two to in. Woo! <laughs> she stabilises you. Yeah, we. I knew she was the one, guys. I knew she was. The one. <laughs> uh, Techless, it is your go. You are battling this. Te Techless is just gonna keep on keeping on. You know how he does. He's gonna roll his booming bait attack, and uh, he's also gonna roll his normal attack. We have quickly failed with the uh, booming blade attack. But I still Ooh. have Bardic Inspiration. <laughs> you can't Bardic Inspiration. You can use it on the 14 fail. if you want. <laughs> can't Bardic Inspiration you out of a crit fail? What's the game coming right. Come on. Alright. That 14 probably doesn't hit. So we'll. I, we'll uh, I, I actually think it does. Yes, it does. Um, oh, I I will let you choose whether you want to lose a level two spell slot or hit yourself with the booming blade. <laughs> Your crit oh, fail. Oh, oh, <laughs> that that is it's a, a good toughie. Point, isn't it? That is a toughie. Oh, I've got to take the level two spell slot. I've got I think to. that's the correct play. It is. I thought, I thought if to. I made it just a level one, it would be too easy because that's like basically a shield. Fine. As, Fine. as you see, Teclas's magic sort of backfire almost, but he he seems to absorb it. But you can tell he's in he's in intense pain. Uh, but he does manage to hit with his lunar magic weapon that he retrieved from the uh, from the moon pool and hit for a mighty 10 damage as well fuck smart honestly that offhand weapon has been on fire how about these nice um Orman. <clears throat> um Orman's gonna cast hex on this one Nice. And what stat are you choosing for Hex? Oh, what should I choose? Allow me to consult character sheets. Maybe Wisdom? Definitely Wisdom because of the aura. Yeah, Wisdom. Let's do that. Uh, Hex in chat. Can you pop it in the chat, Dave, please? Yep, yep. Thank you. Uh, and then I will fire two Eldritch Blasts at it. Oh, yeah, definitely Wisdom. If it's just disadvantage, having disadvantage on the Chipper Shredder. Mm hmm. Uh, a 10 misses, but the 22 hits. Okay, so. I mean, that's pretty good. As you do. 14. Uh, what, what, how much damage in total, mate? 14 radiant damage. Nice. It 
rocks and cries out in pain as its faceless berries eye you vengefully. Uh, it is Glear's go. Um, may I suggest healing Derek? Yes. I will accept that suggestion as gospel. Um, probably just a level one, just to get him up. I think. Yeah, I, I, yeah, I'd agree. Patrick, Alt. Are you muted, my man? Um, All right, well, Dave just muted. Yeah, I mean, I'm, Dave I'm up wrong. For it. Sorry, sorry, I've been fucking around with some dinner stuff. That's right. What am I rolling? D eight. Uh, yeah, a D eight, and then plus plus all of the all of the good stuff. I don't know what the the good stuff is. Hold on. Uh, I think it was. Uh, he gets to heal, and I think it was like plus seven in the end or something. Healing spells cast on others heal you as well. Oh, dude. Um, you regain hit points two plus the spells. Okay, so Gazir gains three hit points, which is pretty good. Um, that's one of them. And then they get another three for Disciple of Life. My god, what the fuck? Oh, I don't know if it's the 17th level one. Oh, Rob has stuff on his character sheet which is where he's not leveled at yet. Oh, that was confusing. I think it's just an extra three. I can't see anything else to suggest he gets more. Yeah, that's right, mate. Just, 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 just plus, plus the three then. Cool. Derek's on seven HP. Awesome. Derek's back up. Are you dead? Oh no, it's def. Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep, uh, keep, keep going. Oh wait. Uh, oh, okay. Uh, uh, anything else for Galir? Uh, yeah. You got a bonus action. Spirit weapon. Yeah, yeah, do it. Yeah, hundred percent spirit weapon. Mm -hmm. I think we should actually bring the spirit weapon over to this and start pummeling that, because these guys will probably get re uh, wrecked by the aura anyway. Plus, these guys are really easy to kill. Thoughts? No, agreed. We, the big ones have a lot of HP. Yeah, cool. Let's do it. Oh no. What does the spirit uh, weapon get? Plus. Uh, plus seven. Oh, so is it hitting? If it hits the, uh, I mean, to yeah, the sixteen will hit either the zombie or the plant. Uh, we're gonna hit the plant. See. So. Yeah, yeah. And then it's D eight plus whatever seven plus eight, isn't it? Uh, so plus four. Plus four. What so that is eleven damage for. I thought the spirit weapon was more than that. Nah. Plus charisma. It's just it's, it's still pretty good. Um, as one it goes hit, the target takes force damage, damage yeah. one d eight plus the spell casting ability modifier, and her, and yeah, which is charisma. Why does it say spell attack bonus? It's not. It's not charisma. Yeah. But it's still plus four. Wait, it's oh, sorry. Yeah, 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 sorry. I I did mean whiz, but I think Rob's whiz is still plus four. It's got an eighteen. Oh, sure. Sorry, I was misreading that. Yeah, cool. Sweet. <clears throat> no worries. Uh... 
open it's gonna hunt his mark one of uh the one that teclas is battling nice oh he's gonna hit but he doesn't have advantage so he doesn't get the crit he still gets the two the two damage rolls with the 2d6 for the hunter's mark and then the d8 for the colossus slayer oh 25 40 damage on yellow. So this one now looks bloodied. As it okay. roars and decides to slap Teclas using its vengeful tentacles. Uh, but it doesn't even come close. It sort of flails wildly as the best it rolls is a 17. Get marked. Not even forcing shield. Get fucked. As the... <laughs> oh, no, actually, that's gone. Bless up. Pete. Ooh, just move the entire map. As the zombies come closer to engage, and the wisdom saving throw from the corpse plant inside is a 14. Does a 14 do it? Mm -mm. As it, it takes 3d8 uh, of radiant damage. Can someone please roll that? Mm hmm. Mm. 18. Oh, wow. 18. Nice. Uh, that's on purple, isn't it? Yeah. That is a lot of damage. <clears throat> uh, this purple one looks like the biggest and baddest out of the three that you have faced, but nevertheless, the 18 radiant damage from Galir's spiritual guardians bloodies it. As you can maybe sense the tide of the battle finally turning. Derek, it is you your go, my man. What does blue mean? Uh, oh, the, uh, is, uh, don't worry. The only what color you need to worry about is, uh, is red, which is bloodied. All of the other colors, which were blue, green, yellow, and purple, are all for basically me. Because uh, different plants spawn different zombies. It's just helping me keep track of everything. Okay. Um, so it's literally just two guys and a plant. No, two plants. Two guys, two plants. Uh, two zombies, two plants. Uh, fair warning, the plants, when they die, will spawn more zombies. <clears throat> right. Yeah. But it's sort of like a chicken and egg. You still need to kill them. So, And the zombies... Well, actually, to be fair, I don't know. How do we think the zombies have done, guys? I think they've done pretty well. They've done all right. It's just we've... We've kept them down really well. Instead mm. of them getting back yeah, up, yeah, we've yeah, just yeah. kept like, them down. Yeah. Massive radiant damage is just really good against zombies. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want me to come back to you? I've got, I've got yeah, Teclas that, next. That would be, uh, yeah, yeah. All right, sweet. Teclas. Uh, Teclas is going to keep on keeping on, brother. Move to the left. Definitely move to uh, the left. After he moves somewhat. <laughs> yeah, just, just five, like, five foot to the left. That'd be sweet. Do you remember? Like, cha cha real smooth, and then, like, slide to the left, and then, like, crisscross, and then, like, blap it up. Oh. I mean, you are, you are Blade Songing. What, what song's on, Teclas? What song are you playing? Oh, the song's all in Teclas' head. That's what he's dancing to. Alright, well, I, st I still want to know a song. This is the rhythm of the night. That, like that, but like imagine it played on the lute. Just that one line. If you, if, if, yeah. if you give me, two, over and you over give me again. Two, two more lines and sell it, there's there's some inspiration in it. Oh, I don't fucking know. Uh, I don't think anyone else knows any other lines to that song apart from this. Is yeah, I know the. Yeah, it's like, but you know, the other two lines of the song. No, 
Texas is done singing out what he can hear in his head. He's, that he's, is what he can he's hear. Just... He's going to make some attacks, though. Yeah, yeah, do it with your newfound advantage as you occupy the space opposite the spiritual weapon. The dice, my, my laptop's decided to shit as well. I have clicked both of the uh, 15 hits. Nice. Oh, and we, we said to click both of them. Where's the, the, uh, the moon blade? Moon blade sick, 20, both hits. Mm -hmm. Booming blade damage, four. How much? Eleven, not the best. What's the moon? Moon blades kind of come up eight. Eight, you reckon? Yeah, moon blades always good. You tell me, Bucko. Oh, the suspense for your role is killing me. All right, six. Mate, it's, yeah, six. Seventeen, still not not a slouch, not a slouch. Mhm. Mm uh, is that on yellow or purple, Pat? Yellow. Well, I'm only by yellow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but when when I move to the combat spreadsheet, I can't see the map. Oh, right. Sorry, yellow. Nice. It roars. It's, it's looking pretty beaten up now, yellow. Not looking good. Or, uh, uh, Derek? Is next? Orman is next, but yeah. obviously you were before Ted. So if you want to jump in now, you can, or you can jump in after Ormond. Yeah, I'll jump in after Ormond. Okay, Ormond. <laughs> but what is the order? So it's Ormond, then it could be me, but who's this, uh... You can, you can jump in whenever you no, want. No, no, I appreciate that, but like, what's the order then? Then it's all of... Okay, the... okay, so, so you can... There's either, not you... enough stuff on the turn order, is there? Oh, yeah, I don't know. I, the, the turn order's been a bit weird, I'm not sure. Right. Uh, so you can either jump in now. We've got Ormond and Galir, and then... And then it has to be you because then we start a new round of combat. So you can either go now after Orman or after Galir. I think I'll take my goes at the end. Yeah, yeah, sure. Yeah, Orman. Uh, <clears throat> Orman's going to move further down here, and Orman's going to fire off an Eldritch blast at this bastard. Absolutely. Pew pew. Uh, 26 and a 12. I guess 26 hits and 12 doesn't. 12 hits, Dave. Oh, dude. Um... Oh, oh, the big numbers and the hex. Give him the hex. Uh... Pew. Oh, baby. Dude, that's 31 damage. 31. Uh, is that on purple? Yeah. Why is that on it is not looking good. That, okay, hold on. That, like when you can do chunks of damage in thirty-one. Hold on, hold that's on. good. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. Ooh. We're also gonna ping him for four. Oh, yeah. Yes. Making out thirty-five damage. <clears throat> Minus thirty-five. Very nice for Orman's best return. Best return of the combat. Dude, Ormin putting up some good numbers, finally. Finally in there. He, he had a 31 earlier from Fireball. I did forget um, about the Fireball, that's true. Not quite as good as 35. Uh, is Galeer's go? Um... Oh, you did 35 and the bloody thing didn't go down. <clears throat> no. Ah, so it's not really that bloody, but... Well, uh, I think you well, tuned in. A lot of HP. Trust as yeah. it got bloody. Also, the purple one is the biggest one of them all. Okay. Um... Both, 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 both of the corpse flowers aren't looking good. Where is Galit? Oh, Galir is right in the middle. She's she's there. Oh, sorry, I'll just, just move the zombie. In fact, I'll. I'll s uh, guys, if if you don't don't do Galir, I will move on to Derek. No, I mean Galir should attack, right? What are we thinking? Well, if it's a ranged attack, she's got a sacred flame. 
Yeah, just fucking hit the bloody... <clears throat> the bloody purple one. Yeah, just do the, I reckon, Sacred Flame and the, um, Spirit Weapon Attack. Alright, uh, well, sweet Sue, can someone make a Spirit Weapon Attack, so roll me two D20s, because it will have advantage. Crit, baby! Oh, baby! I mean, oh, they, shit! You, nice. get, you get to choose whether you want to roll double the dice, or just take the max damage, which would be 12. Double dice all the way. Double dice, double dice. Uh, two D eight, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, two D eight. I should have taken my twelve. Nah, no, less fun, always, less fun. Always. Double dice. It's not always though. I would have taken the twelve at minus nine. Uh, and Galia's action. Okay, again. Sacred Flame, the the same one? Yeah, Sacred Flame, Dex check. Yeah. Awesome, sweet. Uh, dexterity saving throw. Uh, I think that is. The Dex is that good. Uh, plus one, so 14, so it fails. Uh, can someone roll with 2d8? And shout it out when you got it. I'll do it. Oh, wait, I forgot. It's just quicker for people to do it. Eight damage. Damn. It's still standing, oh, but it really God. looks in bad shape. Uh, as it goes to Trollsbane, who will? Oh yeah, yeah sorry, yeah, yeah, sorry. Go get good. Or And the and my girlfriend. Huh? Yes, and your girlfriend. Mm -hmm. uh, she has Shillelagh active and Barkskin. So her AC is good, and she's she can melee people good. Yeah, I like it to melee this thing. Yeah, I think she can only get to there, but yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, so Roll me a D twenty plus six. D twenty plus six. Oh, that's a six. Yeah, it hits, and I believe it's a D eight plus six. <coughs> ten. Oh, D eight plus four. Oh, all right, 12. Wow, 12. And she clubs it for 12. And uh, your go? Doesn't spawn stuff straight away. No, nah, he's properly die. Oh, it's not dead. <coughs> it's not dead. She only hit it for 12. Like, that was a good. That, you did max damage. How that was very it good. Bloody? It'd be like 100. Right, okay. I can tell you. I can, it, at, the purple one has 159 hit points. Oh, damn. That's a lot of hit HP. So is it a bad idea? Like, you guys have experienced this. Is it a bad idea to hit her then now? Because now it's going to die before I go and then we get loads of zombies. I'd much um, rather fight the zombies than this. Yeah. Okay. As I wanted to know. Yeah. Fair enough. Mm. The zombies have been overperforming, but they are they, they, they uh, the law of averages should suggest that they secede to the norm. Right. Well, good old simple fucking hand crossbow then, I suppose. With silvery bars. Silvery bars, but okay. so, uh, so, uh, you you've only got one bardic inspiration left. Right, so that would be your last one. Yeah. To be fair, it was. I I appreciate you weren't here for it, but it was doing massive work. It helps a lot of people out of a lot of sticky situations. Psychic so place doesn't do any related to bardic inspiration. Does it not cost a bardic inspiration? You the College of Whispers at the third level. You gain the ability to make your weapon attacks magic. Magically toxic in the creature's mind when you hit a creature. You're... Oh, yeah, shit. Sure. Yeah, you use one of your body inspiration. Oh, wait, 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 wait. It was just like. Oh, yeah, to add an additional 2d6. Yeah. But you, but you get 3d6 because you're level 5 now. It goes up to 5d6 at level 10. And 8d6. That's quite a, the jump. Okay, that one's gone. I mean, look, you can still just attack it normally. Still far off, you just do a hand crossbow. 
Uh, but then you can just keep telling me that it's like still up, so I'm starting to be like, this thing's like never going to go down. So well, look, it, my, it, 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 only ha it has a finite health pool. <coughs> no, but before Dave did it, I thought... Oh, you, yeah, can, I you, can, you can, you can, you can, you can try and distract it if you want. You can just try and distract the purple one or the yellow one as an action and give everyone else advantage. It is, it's going next. It's Trolls Bane, then the plants. Well, I've already rolled the hand crossbow. I don't know. Right. Oh, I, um, is it? Can anyone else see the hand crossbow? Nope. Oh. No. Oh, there it is. Nice. All right, sweet. Yeah, it's just come up. Yeah, 15 hits. Yeah, yeah, roll damage. As you. The hand crossbow has been very. A it's like you've got that, that laser sight. It's Seven. like it's like guided. Seven. Can I have Seven damage. I've already taken the psychic blades off my thing as well. Oh yeah, well then, then roll your extra 3d6. Uh, you could kill it if you roll well. 13? What? Two fives in there? <laughs> this thing, man. It is... Barely standing. Oh, no, four no, that was the, the yellow one has been hurt a bit. All right. Trolls Bane's gonna hit the yellow one. Uh, four. 23. This does kill the yellow one and produce four zombies. Uh, he will use his other attack on the other one as the zombies sort of surround you, Teclas, in your blade song. Oh, goodness. Uh, Charles Bain will fire off his second attack at the other one. Does anyone have any inspiration? Uh, I do not, I'm afraid. Oh, then this is going to suck for someone. I do not. Um, Galeer, Dorp, Orman, and Derek, can I please have a dexterity saving throw? Uh, I'll do Galeer, in our fairness. Oh, we boy, really that's need really not good. To the worst here. <clears throat> oh, I, will, I, I, I will tell you what. If you, if, if you want... Someone can elect to fail. If if you, I if think Galeer would elect to fail in this situation. Heroically throw herself in front of Norman to catch Charles Bane's wayward arrow. Sounds like something Galeer would do. Norman, are you happy with that? Did you do you think Galeer would save you? I'd like to think so. All right then. <clears throat> Oh, it's only 11. See? That would have put me on 7 only HP. Only 11. Though. Hmm? That would have put me on 7 HP, though. Yeah, I know, but I'm saying... Yeah, Blue is also on 16 HP, which is pretty low. Um, As it is, the zombies go. There are several zombies. Uh, a 20... 22... A 14... 24, so 24, 22, 19, and an 18 against you, Teclas. That is going to eat a shield, putting up, putting the AC up to 27. That is fair play. Uh, and Simon's dryer girlfriend is going to take three tentacle attacks to the face, facing a 22, a 13, and a 17. So two hits. 
She is on 10 health. Already on 10 health? She's on 22 health. Ah, she's, take, she's, she's, she's taking damage. Oh, that's not her character. <laughs> Sorry. I didn't send her in. Just, uh... and what, what, about the, what about the con save? Yeah, well, she's, she's got to take 13 first. Oh, so, she, so she's down, so it, 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 it doesn't matter. Oh, um, dear. Eric, I will take a death save from your fiance. Sorry, I, I keep saying girlfriend. That is my fault. Your fiance's death save. And then it will also be your go. She passes. Uh, you can obviously use your action to go up and medicine check her. You've got to roll a 10 or better to stabilize her and stop taking death saves. It'd probably be a good idea because if, if you don't kill this <coughs> or it's next go, it's definitely going to munch on her. Munch, munch, munch. It's only me left to attack. No, 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 no. You, you're at the top of the round. You got, you got Derek, you got Teclas, you got Orman, and you got Galir. Oh, sorry. Um, it's wisdom saving throw. I mean, to be fair, this isn't my job to remember. Um, can someone please roll me 3d8 for the spirit guardians? Go, Dave. What am I rolling? Sorry, 2d8, did you say? 3d8. 3d8. 12. Twelve. That is actually exactly. It's exactly. <laughs> it kills the purple corpse flower as it spawns. She's not dead, though. Yeah. You are correct. It would happen at the start. Love prevails. As it spawns three zombies. I mean, but the zombies are going to have a go. And they're definitely going to attack her. So. She's got to firm some attacks with advantage. First one, 24. Second one, 19. Oh, yeah, she's going down. Mate. 24. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Easy. Boy. He's beating the shit out of your fiance, Simon. You're going to take it. A uh, uh, seventeen, but yeah, she's still down. And basically, you still have the same choice to make, but you have the 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 corpse flower is. The <coughs> You've got three zombies over here, four of oh, five zombies over here. There's one. There's one persistent one. He is zombie number four. He crit earlier. If you remember, but he's still battling Teclas as are four of his friends and three of. Three other zombies surround your downed fiance. What are you going to do, Derek? Do you want me to come back to you? I've got Teclas. Yeah. I mean, I think it's yeah. All right, sweet. Teclas, you've got five zombies surrounding you. You're in your blade. Teclas. So you're in Teclas is going to use his additional action from haste <clears throat> to disengage. And uh, he is going to. How, how are you disengaging? Uh, there's, 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 there's quite a lot of them around you, so. I'm not sure how many you'll be able to disengage from at any one time. Well, as the shambling arms close in amongst me, Teclas is gonna hit a fat fucking split as they tangle amongst each other, okay? And then quickly transition one leg back behind and hit the fucking worm, right? <laughs> And as you sort of dunk <clears throat> the worm, like, you know, the bit where you sort of propel your body up, after years mm. of training, he, he can actually use that body movement to propel himself forward. And uh, he is going to try and disengage upwards towards where, like, the spiritual weapon is. That's where I would like to go. Uh... It's going to be split into the worm with possibly a handspring into a perfect landing. Okay, so so the way it's going to work is when you disengage, you get five foot of movement. Okay, so if, I'm using my you, actual movement as well, right? Yeah, yeah, but if, if you disengage from here, from that yep. point here, like the, the lower right <clears> on the, the flower, you can <clears> avoid <throat> opportunity attacks from three of them, but you're still going to take two from the bottom two because of That's the combat five. zone. It, it's, it's, it's two versus three, it's still better. Yes. As the two swipe at you, uh, one rolls a 17 and the other a 24. Ooh, uh, 
Uh, we will take the damage from the 24. Your wish is my command as you take 1d6 plus 1. Two damage from the <laughs> slam attack. Tickled in the balls. Um, yeah, he kind of fucked uh, the handspring, handspring landing a little bit because the I, I zombie don't even scratched think his ankle. He attacks you. It's almost like you stub your toe as you step off his head out of combat. It is upsetting. But um, we're going to, we're going to, uh, with my actual action, after having put myself in fair enough distance away. Is it fireball time now? It is fireball time indeed. Hey. Uh, I'm not, I'm not going to draw it out. I can cast fireball without hitting any of us. Um, and yeah, just yeah, no, 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 Um, um just, yeah. just for flavor, mm. the guy who crits is definitely going to be zombie number four because he crit earlier. Um, okay. But the others, let me just check the decks on a zombie, minus two. So the others are at highest 14. Uh, they all fail. They will take the full damage. <laughs> Please roll your 8d6. Here it comes. A uh, 31. Nice. As you obliterate... 31, mm. obviously, is the number of the uh, the fireball. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, dude, that's the same as I got. Dope. Mm. Yeah. It must be, like, a roundabout average. As you obliterate four zombies and the other one... Ah, oh, zombie number four dies, but only only to, like, wounds suffered over time. No, oh, he slowly ran out of gas. He died of loneliness because he saw his friends explode. Actually, no, to be fair, he crit. Zombie number four is fine. Fuck you. Oh. One it, one zombie stands defiant but scorched. Uh, <laughs> Eric, do you want to jump in now or do you want to... Uh, it is Orman next. I, to, I can talk to Orman, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, guys, Hello, please, mate. Please How's it going? Strategy. I think, like... Someone saves my girlfriend, and then I can take on all three of these with like my various spells. But she has to get out of the way. If I go and get her, then like I got hypnotic part, and I got pyrotechnics, I got uh, miss, miss there's just Ness there's mischief, and they're all bundled together. The last remaining people, like, but I need her out of there. And if I get her out, then I won't be able to also cast out, will I? I use this toilet. I don't know. Maybe just use to sleep. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Sorry, are you discussing whether or not to use the toilet? Yeah, I just haven't actually lived on my boat for like four hours. I've been on Hollyfoot, so I actually don't know if it's full and a bit worried. But just, otherwise, if, if it's full of pee, piss, pisses in it, then basically you're just pissing on the floor. So, uh, just, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, dear. Like, is it an action to carry her away? It is, right? I can get hit. Uh, no. I will allow you to move towards her, and you'll be able to move her, but you will be at half movement. I will allow you to still use your action to disengage you and her five feet, should you wish. Yeah, see, so I can't do that and then hit them with any of my spells, so... But she does need to be saved. I'll get her, Derek. Yeah. But do, do, do you want to be the, the, the sort of pig man that lets someone else save his girlfriend? Is is all his fiance? Is Orman saving my girlfriend? Or <laughs> no, Orman. Orman will. Orman's happy to yeah. save the the fiance. Yeah. But I don't have much movement. But we'll see how it goes. Five, ten. And then I can. I think I can drag her one square with my movement. Come on. Which actually sets that you up because you can actually make that into a box. So that's fine. Yeah. Well, I need it. Alright. No, no, it's not going to do any damage, right? It's going to slow them down from... Two of them couldn't already hit oh. them. Yes, it's just mischief can do a lot of different things. They've just fireballed them. It's fine. I don't have a spell slot. That's unfortunate. You know, I'm going to hit my pad. Oh, alright, yeah. Where are you going to stand when you do it? 
Mm hmm Because there's a clone. So if you stand there, you're going to get your girlfriend. What? No, hypnotic pattern's a clone. That's the him create a twisting pattern of clones which will weave in the air inside a 30-foot cube in a particular range. Oh, I'm so sorry, sorry. I'm going to apologize. Inspiration. Uh, right, so, yeah, it's a 30-foot. I'm so sorry. That's fine. That's my fault. It's a 30-foot Uh... I mean, I'll draw the shape, but... Is it 15? 30? This was actually good. Nice. Uh, roll me the D4. Wait, what's the D4 for? Hey, but it's just random, mate. I'm yeah? not doing... It's not like that, and I've done it twice. <laughs> there it is, if you need it. <laughs> um... Uh, one of them's crit failed. How would you like him to crit fail? Um, to get so caught up in the, like, wonder of it all. He tries to, like, this one in the corner, he tries to run towards it. As he runs towards it, he just runs and knocks over the other one. Like, just collapses and mm. knocks him to the floor. Nice. Uh, one crit fails, one passes, and one fails. <clears throat> As the one nearest your girlfriend, sort of on the right, is still hungers for that sweet sweet dried blood um, um she has to do a save on that I, yeah i will require a death save from her um Orman, what are you doing oh that's a fail i've already done my um yeah, it's <laughs> galera. it is it's glare Uh, you've only got one. Oh well, there, 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 there is one uh, zombie over here to the left in blue, and then one in purple. You have two zombies left. Okay, well, <clears throat> spirit weapon will go over to this zombie over here and smack it. Nice. There you can hit. Owe me a six. What yeah. uh, damage? Six or above. Come on. It's a seven, baby. <laughs> yeah. As you crush that zombie, yeah. And the action there's only one left, but he is, he is on full health, so I'm, I'm not too optimistic of uh, Galea getting it done. But we can we can make it then. I think we've got any other spells. Um, let's have a look at our character. Anything to hold or stop an attack would be pretty sweet. I mean, Charles Bane goes before the zombie. Oh, yeah, I mean, I don't know if you need to cast another spell. A hold person. Let's just use hold person. Hold it to be absolutely sure. And then why do we? Why do we need to use that? Uh, to just the zombie and I give like, like we I feel like we're just kind of already absolutely sure. Oh. You missed Charles. I haven't seen Charles Ben do anything good yet. So. Look, I'm the DM. It's, it's hard to big up my own guy, but like he's he's done some solid work. I feel like. Yeah. I haven't seen it. He's here for 50, 50, 32, 47, 30, 20, 40, 23. There's no Derek would be shouting at Glitch, a whole person right now, thinking that there should be no risk whatsoever to his wife. I mean, I'll, 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 I'll put it to the vote of the group. Guys, what do you oh, think? I agree that we don't for have to spell, do that. For a spell stop. Derek is shouting at Glitch. Glitch wouldn't do it. It's a waste. Yeah, I, I, I do agree that Bob wouldn't have to do that. Yeah, she'd be like, fuck off, pigman. But probably, like, viciously. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's, it seems egregious at this point, but do you want me to roll the dice? <laughs> Why not? Okay. We use a favourite bow as well. Boom. Oh, I was one off by doing him in one, just from the crit. That's unfortunate. They're not dead. Yeah, in one attack. Yeah, with both of them, it's easy. Down. Oh, yeah, all right. Yeah, I'll, I'll roll all the dice just to say you. And that that's unfortunate. The D eight, but it's fine. Mm. Twenty one, sixteen.
Indeed. As we move out of combat. Congratulations, guys. That was a big old combat. Well, very well done. As you sort of, as, as the arrows pluck into the last zombie and you all breathe a visible sigh of relief and collectively agree that you should not touch any plants that look like that again. Yeah, that was fucking terrifying. Technus is going to, um, as he makes his way over to his comrades, take a little stop by one of the uh, one of the zombies' bodies and just sort of just sort of uh, get a proper look at it. Really, didn't take too much time to really look at closely at it whilst he's slicing and dicing. But I think it's a whole. <laughs> Is there any sort of defining characteristics of the zombies? Like, are they do they just look like humanoid, like humans? They, like they look like um, various types of humanoids, but they um, their clothing is is almost like um, it's, it's like been half dissolved in the 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 corpse flowers saliva. So whilst um, given a sufficient, I don't know, a medicine check or something like that, you can work out uh, what race they were, but they, they all seem to be in sort of varied garbs. Um, you do think that they seem to be adventurers, really. Um, and I presume at this point you will loot them. Yeah, I mean, if I'm noticing that they're uh, seemingly... <laughs> It seems like they're various adventurers that have fallen afoul of these creatures. Um, and hey, they don't need anything they've got in their pockets. And I just worked pretty hard for this, so yeah, I'll definitely... They look like they might have a, a coin pouch on them, or perhaps a... Awesome, yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll take an belt. investigation from everyone. Don't worry, Derek, I rolled yours. You rolled an 18, which is pretty good. <clears throat> uh, so if everyone can give me an investigation. Sorry, my 16. thing is shitting itself again. <clears throat> okay. Investigation. Uh, and can we shout it out from uh, highest... Actually, no, we'll go, we'll go lowest. Who's the lowest? Still waiting on Paddy's roll. Yeah, my dice roller is just absolutely shitting no, 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 itself. I've only just seen your dice roll fight. It's, no, it's, it's totally cool, but like, I can only be on one tab. So, like, I need, I need, if you guys just shout out when it when it is in. Yeah. It's still coming. I've clicked on it. And now I'm going to click on it again. And then it's going to roll twice. <clears throat> wow, okay, hey, hey. Come on, Techler. Literally, my 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 laptop is is seizing right now. If it takes more than two minutes, I'm just going to award you the lowest score. I know that doesn't sound. Unless you crit, even then it's going to be a cheap crit because we all know we have to pay for it. Come on, please! Oh, you crit failed on your first one. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Oh, classic. <laughs> well, I mean, well, we'll one more and take that one. Hey, eh? that's what I would say. Uh, all right, take, take the average thirteen. You know. Uh, Techless, you receive a hundred and sixty-three GP. Ooh. That's it. I mean, you you you, you did crit fail. Then you also uh, still I got mean, something after crit failing. I think that's that's not bad. Yeah, yeah I mean, now I, now I'm gonna start. Now I'm gonna be really jealous of whatever you guys get. No, it's it's just it's like. Crit, crit failing on your loot roll, like, that just sucks. So, like, it is, it's really hard for me to, like... No, because everyone... 
It'll be good. But dude, don't worry about it. It's fine. Yeah, it's fine. Just, just give it, uh, serve it up with some cutlery. It's fine. It's late dinner. Um, oh, yeah, like the pizza's just been a bit weird. Um, uh, who's who's the next highest? Uh, I got a 16. So I am next highest. Uh, <coughs> Please add 441 gold pieces to your character sheet. 441, you say? Uh, uh, 441, yes. Yeah. And good heavens, Jack. Uh, 100 gold and 100 gold pieces worth of gemstones. Oh, really? <clears throat> 100 GPs worth of gemstones. Ooh. Sweet. Uh, and Eric, please may you add 400 gold pieces to your character sheet. Oh, yeah, let me see that back in. Yeah, uh, so 400 gold pieces to your character sheet. And 200 gold pieces worth of gemstones. And <gasps> a potion of heal. Oh. 10 off points. Damn. Awesome. As you sort of recoup and Rejudge. Um, yeah, obviously, you guys are much worse for wear, and you sort of regroup and reconvene over the evening and assess the map that is around you. Uh, what would you like to do, guys? Discuss the combat, discuss what's happened, um, how you feel. So, um, Remind me, how did we get? How did we get into that combat? What happened? Um, De uh, Derek's mage hand touched a some, a berry that looked like a Tim Westwood berry, but was uh, explicitly different. A uh, troll's bane did a nature check, told you he would not touch it or eat it. Uh, and then the, the moment the mage hand touched it, uh, combat was initiated. Okay. So, so Derek, did you hear Trollsbane's opinion and just completely ignore it? You say I wouldn't touch it, and I did not touch it. Uh, but you did, in fact, have it touched. I have. I had it touched. Yes, that's like saying you're too drunk to drive, so you get a chauffeur to drive for you. And everyone's like, well, why'd you get the chauffeur to drive? It's because I was drunk. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but mm, it's, not, no. it's, it's more really? like, it's more you like you, you're too drunk to drive and you've got in a go-kart to drive home. You know? I really wish to the car. I actually touched it. I don't know. I didn't, I'm not sure Derek really did anything. Of course, though. He commanded his mage hand to touch it when specifically told not to touch it. So, yeah, he but like, definitely did something. <laughs> Didn't. I just think that like, we learned a lesson about these, this forest, and that's like it's a good lesson to learn. Wow, we've got trolls being around. Right. Oh, speaking of which, as we long rest, um, Charles Bain's due another week's payment. Dump up, Derek. What? Sure thing. Orman, you've, you've paid, right? Oh, wait, no, Orman, you haven't paid, have you? I was not involved in the negotiations. So I fucking refused to pay. Not, no. Whoa! No refusing to pay. We came to a... And uh, I feel like Trollsbane just proved his worth. I... I... Trollsbane, there's some good work, sir. Or did he say, 
you shouldn't touch that. So, I didn't touch it. And then so, so, it wasn't specific enough. And so, so, so far, nothing should touch that. To, to my, to the DM's recollection, no group agreement was a, was reached upon a payment plan. But so far, Teclas has paid for two weeks, and Glear has covered one. It's two hundred gold pieces. Come on. Two hundred GP a week, that is absolutely ridiculous. It's not ridiculous. It it's, is it's ridiculous. Services. <clears throat> Hired services. Fucking got a got a fucking gun man. Two hundred GP a week. You literally just bob like just fucking taking the piss at you every time you talk to him. If if it if it, if it would make a difference I can tell you how much damage he did in the combat. I would well, guess it's somewhere it's around hundred and fifty. I've got a shrug, I've got a guess. Dave, what are you saying? Mm. Well, am I guessing how much damage he did? You can do whatever you want, mate. You can <laughs> guess is you can just ask. Um, exactly, you can do whatever you want. Uh, I, I think he'll be higher than 150. I think he'll be probably about 200. Simon, do you want to guess? Two. Two. Your guess is actually two. Yeah. Uh, Dave, you can have some inspiration for being the closest. How much did he actually uh, do? Uh, two, two, two. Two, 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 two. Wow. Two hundred and twenty-two. No, you didn't win by saying two. <laughs> <clears throat> Some, sometimes I wish I was there to slap Simon when he did his thing. You locked into like a half round, sir. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say the round. Um, but yeah, Dave, Dave was closest with two, two, two. I can tell you, would, would everyone like to know how much damage they all did? Overall, I can actually tot it up due to my new combat simulator. Uh, sure. Derek, you did seventy-four, but there was a lot of there was a lot of crowd control in there, and 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 I haven't I haven't put in a symbol to signify bardic inspiration yet. Uh, Galir was at two hundred and three. Damn. She did a lot. Of, it's, it's it's that that aura. The aura does a lot of work. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, spirit much, strong. Much much damage across multiple targets. Woman, you were sitting at one four two. Damn, that's more than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Your armor. Oh, yeah, no, dude, the, yeah, and also the, the yeah. armor was great but it also got like a little bit unlucky actually at the end because like the guy like the the last hit did it for like exactly so you couldn't get like one more use out of it yeah i know um teclas uh did 218 oh god teclas mm -hmm. <clears throat> oh that fireball at the end yeah really buffed them numbers up i yeah, think the fireball was good because it did 31 across uh, four zombies, which is super, yeah, super good. Yeah. And we, 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 we take into account overkill because we should always take into account overkill. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, dude, I've got, I've got loads of like anti allergen stuff around. Oh. Um, hey, guys. We're resting up. I presume setting down for a long rest because you kind of need it. Um, Not even that bad, dude. I'm definitely having a is, rest. Is... Oh, oh yeah, yeah, no, definitely have a rest. We will, we will do perception checks. Um, <laughs> I will take a perception check from everyone here, and Trolls Bane will also take a watch. See, he takes watches. That's because that's because Rob's not here. I have critical. I've got a 23. Checklist. Mm -hmm. On your watch, you notice a small gnome trying to sneak up on you. His eyes all about 
your coin purse. This fucking piece of shit. Right, I'm going to cost the whole person. And because you crit, the look in his it's eye, fail. it's it's a familiar look. It's He has touched, molested, enabled your coin purse before, and he likes the feel of it. Eric, you also, on your watch, perhaps you roll over in your sleep and also catch this gnome as two crits in the same round come up. And you know what? Because you double crit, I will say that, that the gnome automatically fails. Because two crits should be rewarded. Automatically fails, what? fails against my whole person. My whole person. Mm-hmm. As you hold person the gnome. Teclas is going to storm up to the gnome, beside himself with rage, totally forgetting all finesse and grace and air about himself. He is just going to fucking chin him, just straight up, up, bang, through the fucking chin. He is pissed off. Where is my money? Where is my fucking money? So yeah, I'll can I make an unarmed strike against uh against this gnome, please? Absolutely. Please make um an attack roll with either dex or strength with advantage. Alright, we'll do as so a D twenty plus dex. Oh lord. With, with, with advantage. I'll give it a bunch. With yes, yes, yes. Have a look at you. Oh yes. You, you connect with him right on the button. I'd like to. Uh, I'd like to uh, take a couple of teeth out. As is your right. I tell you what. I tell you what. Uh, I'm, I'm sorry. <clears throat> I know. No. We've crit. I don't think we're playing for health. I think we're playing for. We are. We are. <laughs> As I have made you do so many times before for the wrong reasons, please may you now roll 2d8. The gnome loses 13 teeth. Oh my god. <laughs> the tail is everyone, you really couldn't write this because. Yeah, we're the I have lost people. a lot of money to this fucking piece of shit. Three, three people have lost money. Teclas has lost money three times. <laughs> and it's like 40 gold a time. Yeah. Like... You've, you've, you've lost some money. Glear, I think, has also lost some money, but Teclas has consistently been robbed. <laughs> um, and you know what? He does not care for it. As he loosens and knocks out 13 uh, of the gnome's teeth. And the gnome sort of tries to raise his head in obvious agony and offers some sort of bloody apology. But you know that's just that's just not cutting it. It's really not. Yeah, any, any, anyone. Oh, it's my, my crit. That's as well. I'm 24 here. I'm, uh... Well, yeah, that was what granted him the the, the the fail on the whole person. You you have him paralysed for a minute. You may also make an unarmed strike against him should you wish, or you can talk to him, do something else. I should uh, pull out my unseen servant time. Yeah. Unseen servant. I'm going to use my mage hand. The mage hand, my unseen servant, and myself are going to lift him up. Take him over to between two trees. Start tie ropes around each of his wrists and the trees. Each arm is going to be strung up to each tree. Each leg is going to be strung up to each tree. So he stood there like a star between two trees. Wow, okay. I'll have a Jesus survival Christ. check with advantage as Charles Bane tells you exactly what knots you need to tie <clears> these. <throat> tie the ropes. Oh, yeah, I'm not going to do that again, but my advantage is <laughs> with advantage is 10. Just take that. So I can I can roll for you if you want. Uh, 
Uh, 23. Yeah, you string up this power up the poor paralyzed gnome. Uh, I'd like to take my uh, dagger, which out of my sword, mm -hmm. which is my cane, uh, and just yeah, your your Swiss utility rip open cane. his shirt, uh -huh. and basically start looking like I'm about to carve off his nipple. Wow, what but the fuck? Threat. I'm not actually doing it. No, I'm not the I mean, I'll, 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 is I'll, on his chest. I'll take an intimidation with yeah, advantage. That's exactly it. Uh, yeah. Uh, guys, what wh what else is everyone doing? Uh, Cagnus is gonna step forwards towards the gnome, maybe gently, like putting his hand on the side of uh, of Derek's blade and like guiding it ever so slightly, you know, looking at Derek in like a, I'm, you know, I'm on your side, but maybe not pointing the blade directly at his chest, like, you know, because we're all to this I motherfucker mean, person. The of his teeth, but woe, woe beside we actually cut him. Well, yeah, because there's a difference, you know, one's a fucking straight chin in that this cunt deserved. You know, we're not going to torture him. Well, we might, it's like a little bit of torture, but... No. Yeah, I would like to take an active break in the... No, Derek is going to turn around and start having an argument with... Guys, Sorry. guys, we need to talk about this. Are we not... Like, maybe we will do it just slightly... I mean, the guy can clearly tell we're having an argument, but maybe he can't hear it. Just like, step away a second. I mean, he, he can't hear it, but he is paralysed for, oh, I would say, to still, like, 40 seconds, so... <clears throat> Are we actually not torturing this guy? I'll be honest, like... like whoa! Nobody oh, whoa. Oh, still there's, a lot of, there's a lot of steps. There's a lot of steps before you start cutting someone's nipple off. Alright, yeah, let's, let's just find out some stuff. Yeah, I've already he delivered the mightiest blow to his jaw that he's ever felt. He will lose a nipple if he doesn't start talking immediately. And Okay, uh, alright, alright. Yeah. Alright, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, well, I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, Derek, Derek, right now, like, Tex is going to put his hands on both of Derek's shoulders. Okay, so, good cop, bad cop. I'll good cop, and you can bad cop, okay? And I'll get some fucking popcorn mm -hmm. and watch this. Alright, alright. Teclas is going to turn... turn to the gnome. And, uh... <laughs> he's going to, uh... he's going to break his concentration on whole person. Because this gnome is, uh, restrained. Correct? Yeah. Tied up tight. Yeah. yeah? Alright. What I'm going to take... is I'm going to take... a... persuasion... From you, Teclas, with advantage for your good cop. I'm going to take an intimidation from Derek with advantage for his bad cop. And Dave, yeah. I'm going to give you a D8 to give to whoever you want before we roll for your popcorn sort of advantage. Um... Can I beg, beg you into performance over persuasion? Or not? I. Uh, I want to say yes. I don't think I can. Uh, well, what do you want to get out of this sort of interaction? Uh, Texas is just is is just pretending that he's the good cop. He's he's, he's got to put on quite a performance to be friendly after chinning thirteen teeth out of the guy's face. <laughs> you know. I'll give the D8 to 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 Terry. No, no, no. <laughs> hey Dave, I'll, I, will, I will offer you a trade. Your D8 for Teclas's switch from persuasion what to the performance. What the D8? Surely that's better than the switch. You can't have yeah. more than the eight. Yeah, but you can also right. roll I'm like a one. Humble DM, I am offering you choices. You can do uh, whatever you want. This is I'm, no, I'm going to give him the D8 because rolling dice is more fun than than getting bonuses. It, it is more fun. I'll roll my persuasion. Fourteen. All right, um, Dave, your D eight to add to Texas for fourteen, and I need an intimidation from our bad cop. D eight, baby. Oh, it's three. Sorry. Sorry, it was seventeen. Seventeen is twenty-three. A combined total of forty is good enough. 
to sort of loosen this gnome's terrified, petrified lips. What are you going to do now that you, this, this gnome is sort of almost, you know, putty in your hand? Where's the money going? Hmm? He says, go, go, going? Yeah, what are you doing with the money? Who are you giving it to? Where's the money going? I know, I know, I, look, I, know, I, I need it. I've got, I've got... He sort of looks at... Looks at you and, and obviously goes to lie and then looks at Derek with the knife, like, toying his nipple and then, like, decides against it. And he, he basically explains that he's got a very expensive lifestyle. He says his name is Trest. 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 Okay. Trest with the expensive lifestyle. Huh. Yeah, I've got an expensive lifestyle. I've got bills to pay, Trest. Okay. That scary looking guy over there with the bow and arrow. Not towards Charles then. The protection like that doesn't come cheap. I don't appreciate that I've even felt like I've had to hire this protection because a lot of coins been going missing from my purse. Trest. Okay. And if you tell me where the coin is, and you tell me that you're going to give all of that back to me right now, then maybe my protection won't have to come after you. Where's the fucking money, Trest? Oh, um, I'll take another intimid a, a, ne a normal intimidation from you, Texas. Um, actually, you know what? No, I will, I will take it with advantage. I'll, I'll take the crit then. Very oh. good. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, your delayed internet did you good there because I was like, would Trolls Bane, like, as a player, would he, like, be into this? Would he assist? Would he help? And be like, yeah, he'd probably be all right with this. He's just going to stand there we're holding his bow looking menacing. No, no, he's, he's, he's going to input. Maybe not even so, vocally, but like he definitely like draw his thumb across his throat and like point to the nose. <laughs> um, Undertaker style. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, look, look. But all intimidation needs to be verbal. Like, so where is the money, Trest? Well, as you crit, um, he gives you back the hundred and sixty-six gold that has collectively been stolen from you. Divide it however you'd like if you can remember who got what stolen. So I had 160 stolen from me at once. <laughs> I know I didn't vocalize it, but. Uh... Oh, and, and also, um, the gnome asks if you'll spare his life. Hmm. You're, you're in the middle of the Midnight Grove, surrounded by murderous plants, friends, paid colleagues, and apparently this fucking thief who has given you back the 166 gold that he just stole over a period of time, and now asks if you'll spare his life. What do you say? Do you want to go away and discuss this? I think we should. Yeah, can we, can we, can we go, can we go 10, 15 foot away and have a little chat about it quietly? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he, this gnome is one, absolutely terrified and two, totally restrained by, um, by Derek's just sort of like a stage hand esque sort of, um, you know, like servant manpower troop between his unseen servant and the mage hand. You are, you are completely free to go out of earshot and discuss how you want to deal with this. Well, okay, guys. I say we waterboard him. <laughs> no, what are we trying to find out? <clears throat> Nothing, but he, he stole fucking loads of money. <laughs> <laughs> what? Can we find out? A form of punishment. <laughs> the joy of making sure he's in pain. I know. Oh, dude, I mean, I know you know. He... They remove his hand. <clears throat> oh, fuck that. Waterboard him. That. I mean, one word, right? Slave. Right? He owes us. He needs to repay us. He's intimidated by us. 
been taking her out. It's the first effort. You know, next time we're coming along saying, we're like, ooh, what's that? Wonder if we should walk forward. Who wants to go first? Let's go. Let's go. That's how it's going to repair. I don't know how I, feel, how I feel about actually having a slave, though. I mean, <clears throat> think of it as a slave. Just think of it as a helper. Who's held against his will <laughs> and has no say they're, in... They're not people. They're the help. <laughs> yeah. He just stole from us. And we can talk to him as we go along, then. But like, how about this? How about this, right? How about this? We get him to steal for us now. If we control um, him, if we just let him leave, though, would he not just not come back? I mean, but uh, as ambition goes, I, I didn't think that this conversation would take you guys hit to, like, can we actually turn him? <laughs> I, okay, I'm I, I'm, 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 I'm okay. Lot, like, I'm okay like, with this. Really, like, don't waste good sort of vibe. I'm okay with this as long as we get to waterboard him at some stage. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is with you and it. Would it would it be salt water you'd be waterboarding him? Of course it fucking would. He's just had teeth knocked out. Of course we want to put salt water on his face. That really hurt. Uh, have some inspiration. Yar, thank you. Uh, you, you. You may carry it on to the next session if we don't get to it. I mean, it's, you know, <laughs> it is 10 to 10. We've got punching for doing all Right. What do you say, then? If we bought a board him, then we could scare him so much that we'll... We can like whilst he's getting waterboarded, boarded, right? We could say that we put a, a tracker on him, a spell of some kind. And if he goes too far, we'll know and we'll kill him. <laughs> waterboard. If he returns to us with gold, he won't die. But and we'll do. We'll tell him this between waterboarding. Oh yes. Like bits, you know. Yes. Waterboard. Water board. Yeah. Ooh. Life under the sky can sometimes be brutal. Life Thieves under... need to be punished. Yeah. Oh, wow. Um, so we're all on board with the waterboarding, yeah? I am, if, if I could just ask one question. If Derek can be the one that kind of grounds him. Or convince us in he's the one that's got the track on him. Just got a bit of a plan, but Derek would like to be yeah, the one. That... Yeah, Derek, Derek, Derek can be the one that relays the information. No, no also, all right, I'm not taking that fake brand. Like, look, we're already waterboarding him. Either we're going waterboard and brand. Hey, look, look. Oh, I feel, I feel like at the point you're breaking brand. like Geneva Conventions, it's really all or nothing. No, like, no, the fake. You're missing the point of the fake brand. Okay, all right, sorry, all right. So the the fake brand, um. Charles Ben probably be alright for this too, to be fair. Um, I want you to elect one of you to be the lead torturer. Who will get to roll the intimidation roll with advantage. Um, but yeah, just because you are not, not necessarily the lead, you, you could be a director, or you could be like, you know, the, the main lead, or you could be, you know, an incredible uh, musical. Like, imagine what Oscar you want to win. Like it doesn't it doesn't have to be the, the like you know you could be just silent no one even needs to know you're there involved in it um but yeah who who wants to make this intimidation check with advantage I feel like it probably falls to Derek yeah no I got sick please let it be me as my pitch <laughs> oh wow okay um would anyone like to cast any spells yes I I today? will cast guidance or, or do, or do, or do anything to, to help it to obviously because you, you've, you've got enough time to prep this. Sweet, so we've already got a guidance, we've got a plus d4. <clears throat> All right. Can we use Galid to cast guidance on him as well? Or does it not work like that? Does he get double guidance like that? Uh, he can because it is two separate concentration spells. Uh, I was only I think because obviously Rob isn't here, but I, I, will, I will allow it. Sweet. Two guidances. Uh, I'm going to 
the best I can do is I'm going to prestidigitate the water that gets poured onto him to make it cold. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> adding, adding a real you know what? All right. torture. I can't, no, I thought that was after the big sign. I've got nothing. He really Texas really won me back. Um. All right. Well, I'll take the. Final intimidation check from you with advantage, Derek, if you're the lead torch. Before um, we get into it, I would just like to ask. I'll do a history check first as well, myself, but then actually also ask the group to do a history check. But what is like the scariest, most powerful wizard, most likely language to speak? Like, just know what the language is. So any of us know what the language is. I tell you what, um, can, can, everyone, can everyone make a quick history check for me? 17. Not bad. I think my history is pretty garbage. If only it was in advantage. It's not. It's not. 12. It's pretty solid. <clears throat> Derek, you're pretty sure that this is the same gnome that was imprisoned with you at the very start. Like, I'm talking oh. session one of the reboot. There was a gnome. <laughs> You were manacled to in the middle of that frozen lake before the wraiths came and took you to the westward and fucking offered you up to Dazmat, like right at the beginning. There was a gnome there, and you think, you think this is that fucking guy? Whoa. Even more reason to waterboard him. But waterboard him and keep him with us. Talk to him more about how he's connected to all this. Or. Warboard him and stick with the plan and just send him off to get us money. I mean, one, we just get money. One, now, do not think, holy fuck, who's with us at the start? Tres, tre I'm not gonna lie, in a mere moment, perhaps he catches like a whisp of it on, on the wind, just like you guys have been discussing it for quite a while, like five, ten minutes. Water, and he's like, shit, I really hope the next word is a good word, and then it's boarding. He's like, Guys, guys, I can be reasonable. Guys, I can be reasonable. And he starts struggling, obviously futilely against the ropes, but he is very distressed. Good. The tech was some sort of turn and look at him and spit it like, this is us being reasonable. Uh, I'll, take, I'll, I'll take an intimidation, please, Techless. It, it will be opposed. He's not involved very well. <laughs> I wasn't even going to give myself disadvantage, but the the three says, "Oh wow, I rolled dog shit as well." I genuinely get plus three to this roll, but only plus three. <laughs> um, wow. Look, intimidation is not really Teclas's shade, but he manages to pull it off and tress, tress, tress wheeze himself. <laughs> All right. All right, come on, let's fucking do this. Yeah, hold quickly, him. whilst he's pissing himself, hold him upside down and put a cloth over his face. Yeah. Derek just realised he was with him at the start. Derek's, Derek's plans have changed a little bit. Like, Derek's, hold on, he needs wow. to have a Derek, with him. Derek's like, going to be against the waterboarding him with his own piss. I'm delaying it because this guy... <laughs> always some stuff. <laughs> all right, mate, when you're all about to get into position for this whole plan to go, Derek's like, no, no, and walks straight up to him. Knife is now... Rest against the throat, like ready in the slip mode, and it's just so. I fucking know you, dude. Why were you on that lake that day? Because he pissed himself. <laughs> he says it's the one, it's the one and only time he's ever been caught by law enforcement. He was caught for love. But love of your own piss. <laughs> He like, he like looks at you and looks at your fiance and he's like, surely you understand. And what did you do? It's just it's just a look. And I'm asking him, what did he do? I'm asking him, what did he do? He said he got arrested for love. Oh, he tried to steal the steal the steal steal the thing from the wrong person and he got caught. He thinks it was a trap. What is he stealing? hills 
like southeast of here, like a big region. It's getting from. And he sent it to you. Sent, he sent you to Dasma. No, the townsfolk. The townsfolk are nuts. He doesn't know the townsfolk. He got arrested like you. We were arrested. No, you were drugged, but he was arrested. <laughs> I think you were drugged. <laughs> He was arrested, and that's what I was. So he was arrested and sent to Dasma. Did that was taken to Dasma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dasma was very much the, the 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 people of that village of Westlake were very much just like making up numbers when they needed souls to give to Dasma. Oh. They were like out of towners, child molesters, and people who get arrested. Oh. All right, so then I'm just going to quickly ask them one more thing with the nicer slow. Um. Does he think that it was fate that we met? Or is it was I just some random guy? <sighs> okay. <laughs> and what what do you hope to achieve by this? Well, because if he says it, he thinks it's fate, then he's suggesting that actually he did know that he like he does know us, that he has a relation to us, it is something important to us. If not, it's just, yeah, just some random guy. Alright, all right. Right. random guy. Then maybe you were just coincidentally. Nah, he's not very religious. So he doesn't think so. Nah, but, two out of twenty. No. Right, and then we'll just turn around, like, let's carry on, boys. <laughs> well, uh, board. Board. Uh, <clears throat> all right. We chant that a little bit as we just walk around. And... Absolutely. I'll, I will have an intimidation check with advantage from each of you. Uh, right here, right now. Uh, plus any guidances as well. So I'll, I'll take. Uh, well, a day, I mean, I hope you do yourself. And one, oh, uh, okay. one, he's obviously gonna do himself. I would like to Charles is going try to a techless. Oh, thank you. Nice. Yeah, yeah, techless, go. 25, oh, 17. This time it's personal. Uh, Next, is it? Yeah. He said, oh. <laughs> it's not very personal. Have some inspiration. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Oh, Dave. Well done. And everyone was giving me shit when I was like, I'm is personal. 15. Yeah. yeah, no, he becomes mentally deconstructed by, by the three of you. I don't. Um. Yeah, cause, yeah, because Galia doesn't need to know about this. Yeah. Oh, so Tr Trest even says, as you're waterboarding him with his own piss, <laughs> he's like, "Don't tell the dwarf. We can still split it four ways. Four ways is better than five. Oh. So Derek would like to stand in front of him as the lead intimidator and turn to him, and then as she's just whispering to Teclas before he does that. What, what was the super powerful wizard called? Called. In a super powerful wizard? Yeah. You asked him. Oh. Which one? Uh. The one. Oh, I was saying earlier, I asked, like, that was how we got into this whole thing. Like, Eric was asking. Oh, oh, anybody in the space of super powerful wizards? Nagash. Super powerful wizard is not, oh, is not what, specific no, to no, a race. Here's what I was trying to say. It can be any race. What be language is a super powerful wizard most likely to speak? You know, like, a a, a, where there's lots of with a high proportion of very well before we yeah or, or like eld it will be like eld. a super ancient like old runic language then Derek would like, like if i think like the latin of this world eric would like to see if he could just turn around and look at him and start talking in that by tongues to him so that he just thinks he doesn't understand it because i'm not maybe even actually speaking yeah, but you can't speak it so you can't yeah, tongues is for understanding the languages, not speaking them. Any creature that knows at least one language can hear it. You still need to speak it. Mm, so I can't use this in reverse. No. All oh, right. Fuck that idea. In that case, <laughs> we'll just stick with the. He's using impressive dictionary thing. <clears throat> to highlight, like, basically, this is the fake branding symbol to appear on his arm looking kind of like shiny just to appear on his arm and then it just appear on my arm as well as i tell him that he is now being tracked 
and he will always be trapped and he is ours and when he decides to step out of line when he thinks about crossing us i'll know i'll know i mean yeah you totally you all of you guys collectively like rolled really well role played it really well and he yeah no he he's been caught out he will never ever betray you guys and he says you can, can go away he can find you gold he can find you he can find you things he'll always bring it back to you awesome mm. just just he just he just he just doesn't want to die he's really sorry hmm I think it's important at this point to tell him that unless he brings us 200 gold a week, he will die. He has to be <laughs> no, just start him off, start him off easy. And then he comes back to the valley way. And... Oh, yeah, and if he misses 200 gold a week one week, he dies. It's like up to him. No, is you've only convinced him he's being tracked. If you like put a price, like, he, he wouldn't do that. He'd try and run. <clears throat> just, just tell him. He's, he's tracked, never crossing us again. And oh, when yeah, he brings us yeah, here, yeah. we can evaluate, you know? He's all sold on that, yeah. yeah. He, he yeah. fully understands, like, the deal. Yeah, we'll just see what he comes up with, to start with. You know? Yeah, awesome. And I think that's where we'll leave it. Oh, right before we go, um, he does say, what would you like Tress to target? Gemstones or coin? Gemstones. Mm. Anyone for information? Nah, all we're doing is gemstones and coin at the moment. Go okay. oh, fish, try again. <laughs> hey, okay, gemstones. Think? I'm happy with gemstones. Nice. Doesn't matter what you are. Well, yeah, I'm <laughs> Just making suggestions. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, uh, thank you so much. Um, I know we had our difficulties and it was only the three of us at the start, but I thought we did pretty well. Uh, I am sorry the combat took longer than we all thought. I've, I've, when I planned it, obviously, I anticipated all, all four of us. Yeah, I, um, I, I, I actually, I really enjoyed the combat. And I'm not going to lie, like, it has... Sometimes I thought we could do combat faster, but in this particular instance, especially, where, like, we were managing... You know, between me and Dave, with a bit of help from you, Pete, like we were managing like four player characters. You know, yeah. it was always going to yeah, take I, 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 it was I always going to take quite a long time. Like, but no, I, I think I think you know it was it was always going to take quite a long time when you know we're having to do a lot of you know reading spells that we've never read before and stuff. Yeah, so, exactly, exactly. Yeah, no, but I, I really I really enjoyed it. I thought that, that combat was fun. Like, I loved the loved the Big scary things into waves and stuff. I think it you know, gave us a good, uh, good fucking stretch of all of our stuff as well. Like, yeah, it was good, good. And I think I really, in a, I'm not gonna lie, something that I've been waiting on for a long fucking time, as like you know, the last bit of the sesh, finding this little fucker that's been taking my money, my goddamn fucking money. So yes, very pleased with the outcome. <laughs> yeah, wow. Um, uh, uh, <coughs> what days can everyone do next week? Uh, I am in Portugal, so I may try and get on my phone, but I, I doubt I'll. I, I doubt I'll commit to it, to be honest. No, no, that's fair. Uh, Portugal is in the same time zone as us, though. No, I know, I know, but I'll be probably sitting on a beach or something. No, so. I, I will. I will say. I will say. Trying to play. Ian, if you're trying to get a go on roll twenty on your phone, no, no, is, no. I I was like, gonna maybe like, come oh, on the Discord your... like and listen in. Ah, okay, um, yeah, there's, yeah. there's no way I'm gonna actually be on roll twenty and actually play. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, no, uh, that is this is there so will, bad. There, no, no, there there will be there will be um some more uh, speaking coming up, like a uh, more investigative uh, stuff coming up. But yeah, wouldn't wouldn't be an entirely bad thing even if you just listened in. Um, what are we saying, Simon? Next Tuesday? Not Wednesday, yeah. Alright, alright. Well, we're going to say Tuesday because we seem to get the most successful Tuesdays. Tuesdays at 7. Cool. Um, yeah, Tuesday's good, me. MVP moment? 
Thirty knocked out teeth. Wow, yeah, thirty knocked out teeth. And to be fair, I was even going to suggest the, suggest the group MVP. Not only because of the way you all like collaborated and completely doubled down on the whole thing, but like it was all very varied. Like Texas, like in the double crit on the perception. Texas knocked out the teeth, and then you basically just went to town. I yeah, mean, I'd, 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 I'd be happy with the group. I feel like that's. Um... One finally the... catching the guy who's been robbing you all this time, <clears throat> and he would have continued. And it's like one of the the first times we as a group have actually just unanimously gone, yeah, no, let's do this. Yeah, the mm. dark side does have the cookies, guys. <laughs> it really does. I mean, I'm happy with group, I think, yeah. And especially, you know, one, real, the, one, uh, real... the, one week, the one week that the cleric's not here, the group, the group MVP is awarded for the warboarding of that guy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, also, I think the uh, I think special special shout out for for me and Dave for managing that combat for so long. Yeah, dude. Yeah, uh, well done. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Pat, pat, ourselves, pat ourselves on the back. I know you. I know you came in and like your character had been downed and stuff, Simon. But genuinely, like I think we did do near everything as possible to look like we at no point did we just like charge you headlong into danger do you know what i mean once i was here i appreciated how much harder the fight was and that fucking purple guy was like bloody and it was like just kept fucking beat honestly when i came in it was like you're good i was like oh sweet i'll just go and punch this guy he's bloody that's what i thought i was gonna do and then almost like 70 went by after that and i was like Oh shit! This is pretty tough. So <laughs> yeah, yeah I was... he's a big part monster. 